Well, hello there. <laughs> His Royal Finest here. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. Yes, three days in a row. This, this might be a record. As a matter of fact, we might be streaming twice today. So, hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back. We are doing FV4005. Obviously, update 9.1 dropped recently, and I said I would try and cover as many of the tanks as quickly as possible. So, we are just slam dunking these two hour streams left, right, and center to get you that epic, fast content. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, a little bit of an earlier stream, so rejoice, everyone from Europe. It's not 2 a.m. for you. I do appreciate you guys dropping by today. Please smash that like button. It is always appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Elmi, good to see you. Hello from Denmark. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Lord Hunter, Potato, Armadillo, Michael, Iron Man. Um, I'm uh, Kamikaze. <laughs> Carlos, what's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. It is I know, right? Insane. What's up, Fatty? Hey, hey, hey. Hope everyone's doing well in the chat. So, today's live stream, FV4005. This tank is pretty goaded. Now, unlike the AMX50B, which I streamed yesterday, which is okay in its current state, the 405 is a bit of a different story. This tank is absolutely poggers with its 1,640 alpha damage magazine, four shots, 410 alpha, but Wargaming were, were made the 405 better because its interclip dropped from 3 to 2.5 and of course it goes to 1.8 using the shell reload, boost, shell reload boost consumable and then of course reticle calibration means you hit everything. You can run radical or shell reload boost consumable on this tank or you can just be like ultimate uh, risk taker like me and, and run both. Yeah, double consumables. But the gun is just unreal when you can get those full magazines off. So. 405. Yeah, the gun is crazy good right now. And I think a lot of players, unlike the 50P, which is like kind of divided, a lot of people are like, oh, this tank sucks, or eh, the tank is whatever, or the tank's good. You know, everyone knows, yeah, the 405 is really good right now in its current state. Of course, it is a 405. It suffers from the same flaws it always has. You know, huge profile, uh, 14 millimeters of turret armor. Mobility that's good, but not good enough to run away from uh, some nasty situations. So when you're playing this tank, you have to use the mind. Now, whether or not I have the brain capacity today to pull out a 4K session in this tank, who knows? But if you play this tank intelligently, and probably most of the time snipe or use it as a second line support tank, always make sure you have that proper cover, you can get some monster games out in this tank. And that's what we're gonna show you today. I'm gonna show you how the tank plays and of course, just how I play it. So let's jump into our first game. How much Dr. Disrespect counts do you have? Oh my, unlimited. <laughs> um, so yeah. 405. I do not necessarily like sniping as much. That is just a personal preference. I think a lot of players will find sniping is probably the best option for the 405. Just because it is very delicate. You know, it's it's big, it's delicate. If you get caught out, you are definitely gonna lose your hit points very quickly. Now we are on Himmelsdorf for this first game, and it looks like well the enemy team they have a concept and ice eight. The issue with the 405, and we might have to go rails because it looks like our concept wants to go rails as well, is this tank is just so large. It is just so fat that you can't even hide behind the rails properly. You will get spotted up and nuked. So you have to be really careful where you position this tank. Now, I'm going to be a little passive right now because my team really doesn't know what they want to do. And we have Jose over here just chilling in his leopard. No camo, so I'm a little worried about that. Uh, the concept in the mid. Looks like my allies are going to be pressuring into the enemy spawn. I might sit back just for a moment here. I'm trying to figure out where the best location is to farm up some damage on these dudes. We have a wild STB1. Boom. One shot into the tracks. Now, we're probably only going to shoot him three times. But, well, as you can see with the reload boost consumable, you just insta-delete tanks with that 1.8 second intraclip reload. Now we have a wild 183 over here on my left side. Let's pull back. Reticle calibration means my accuracy is absolutely insane. Hitting at least one shell into that 183. And so far, you know, not a huge magazine, about 1,200 or so damage dealt. The enemy's Waffenträger, however, seems to be making the aggro plays, which he is definitely going to regret as he gets nuked for most of his hit points. And I believe, <laughs> I believe we're gonna win this game pretty easily. It looks like most of the enemy team is content just to kind of sit and spawn and do nothing. I kind of want to make some plays here because I'm getting bored and, well, bored fatness is never fun. I, do, I get extra yellowy. So, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's the waffle. Pick up a quick kill on him. He does HE me, but as this thing gets spawn liner, it was only 700 damage there. Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have reloaded my magazine. I didn't think the 183 would pull all the way into the open there. IS-4 is keeping him lit up. 
And so this is like the not best situation for a 4005. You just have everyone sitting back and holding. You have all these TDs waiting to nuke you. You really can't move anywhere and farm damage effectively just because of the size of the tank. So I'm going to do my best to pull a little bit of a flanking maneuver on these dudes. The IS-8 probably did spot me up here just a moment ago. But if my allies can kind of start pressuring this corner, who knows? Maybe we can catch this 183 slash concept off guard, get a massive magazine into one of these. So concept's not looking. Boom, one shot to the concept. H into the concept, that's two, that's a thousand damage, that's another 400, and boom! 1,700 damage into that concept. That is why this tank is going to be so scary. When you jump, when you dump those consumables, what was that poor, poor concept gonna do? He could not outrun me there. He just got caught out in the open because I pulled up on the flank and boom, all of his hit points are just vanished. So we have a wild Sheridan here. Let's put 400 damage into this dude. Let's pre-aim a second shot here. Boom, another 370 damage or so. Waffenträger nukes him. I think we will save our final two shots for this 4005 here. One HE into the front of his tank, 500 max roll, and we'll pick up a quick kill on him. 4,600 damage dealt. Very easy game. I'm now on reload, but I think the Sheridan is probably just going to die to the waffle. Or, or not. Waffle has 600 alpha now. I forgot. I don't know why Wargaming gave it 600 alpha, but Jose should have the kill. So first game in the good old 4005. You saw just what makes this tank so so yikers to deal with if you're on the enemy team. Um, okay, I, our Leopard really isn't too intent on moving, is he? Hmm. Well, he should have the kill regardless. Uh, I guess I'll rechat. Do you prefer Dr. Display Cumber over True Challenger now, considering they're practically giving away True Challenger every comp season? Exactly, Shock. Because I have unlimited Dr. Disrespect camos, I'm just going to start using this camo over the True Challenger because to me, True Challenger lost its value and it's not even animated. So if it's not valuable, I run the other camos. 4,600 damage. So pretty good. Nice little first game in the 4005 for today's stream and definitely highlighted some of the kind of strengths and weaknesses of this tank. Uh, strengths are, yeah, that magazine potential. That concept, boom, he was gone. He just went bye bye. He was. You disappear, right? When you drop those consumables, and you're just dunking on people. But also the issue is this tank is big, fat, and well, you know, maybe not the fastest of tanks. So I was kind of stuck for the first half of that game, sitting back, really doing nothing, but I didn't have many options. Now, jumping into this next match, they do have a platoon of Moonmen players who will probably be decent. TVP 50B as probably one of the more scary combinations. TVP as well, which I rank as the most dangerous autoloader in tier 10 right now. Um, and a lot of medium lights. So I think what I'm gonna do is I usually like to go up to the mid, but judging by how many auto loaders they have, I think the wiser play for me to make here is maybe sit by the entrance of town. Don't really overcommit any anywhere just yet. Let's get a feel for the enemy team we're doing. And unlike, you know, other auto loaders, maybe the 50Bs or the heavy tanks and stuff, I like to try and assess the situation a little bit more before I fully commit to one flank or the other. That way I don't just, you know, turn around and get absolutely hammer nuked by the entirety of the enemy team. Now it looks like there are four tanks out of the fight. There are still three unspotted, but I would say Odds are there was a pretty good chance most of their team, I'm not saying all of it, most of their team has gone towards C. The 183 is spotted over there. We still don't know where the VK is just yet. But I'm gonna see if I can pull behind these dudes, maybe catch uh, catch someone off guard. We find a wild IS-8 just wandering into A by himself. Let's pop a quick shot into his tracks. I don't know if we can HE this dude. Can't quite HE him. Pop another shell towards his tracks. He gets tracked again. And let's pop another shell here. Let's try to pick up the kill here. And, of course, the 50 TP just has to drive in and block my shot. Now, we're going to take an HE from this dude. 900 with Tungsten. So, the VK-72 did head this way. Our 50 TP really shouldn't have blocked my shell there. I might get practically two shot by this VK. I can't even back up because the 50 B and his homie here. So, hopefully, the 50 TP turns back to provide me a little bit of support against Mr. VK here. Now, I do have reload on the VK, which is good. 50 TP should be able to spot him in just a moment. But I have to watch out for my rear here because uh, the 50 B is going to run away, I think, soon. Okay, cool. Now, the VK is flanking. Well, that was unexpected. He is going for the big brain flank here. We'll wait for him to start shooting other tanks. And the moment we get an opportunity, we're going to pull forward. Boom. One shell into the VK here. Two shots into the VK here. Very nice. We're going to hit three shots into the VK here. And we might even be able to hit a four shot into the VK. So, three shots in. Unfortunately, <laughs> wasn't able to pen the four shell there. And my team is just getting annihilated. Our yo, our concept, everyone just absolutely got destroyed on that flank so we are probably going to lose this game 
Yeah, we just don't have the hit points to do this anymore. I will see if I can do anything about Mr. VK72 here, although I probably will get spotted by the type, but it might be worth it if I can pick up a kill. Let's drop the double consumables here. I'm sure he's pretty I'm sure he's just waiting for me. I don't know where that first one goes, but he does miss his shot, so that's good as well. Boom, we pick up a nice little kill on this dude. There's also a 183 here who's just waiting. Let's put a quick shot to him. But this game's already over. 50 is probably gonna kill me. I did 3.4k or so damage here. My team was, yeah, not so spicy. I'll take the ram damage. Nice 300. But uh, <laughs> goodness. I tried my best. I mean, me and the 50 TP were holding off a VK72 and an IS-8. So, you know, two to two, we were doing okay on that flank. The 405 was okay. Did pretty good there, actually. Except for missing a few shots, which was my bad. But really, the issue was, you know, our 62 AR mail, our E4 concept, our yo, our, uh, these, these players were not able to survive on the flank. Mostly because I think their 50B and TVP just absolutely bonked them. So, <laughs> look if they won't do that. He's a talentous man. Huh? Oh, uh, 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 you're talking. You're not talking about. Man, so why don't you use gold boosters? Uh, I don't know. I save them for platoons, I guess. Almost 100 likes. Thank you very much, my dudes. Why are still 45? Still better right now. 45 turns into <laughs> shy <to> barn. Yes. <laughs> All right. Fastest 3 am here. If, if you get caught, it's your responsibility. <laughs> don't get in trouble on my behalf, please don't. All right. So let's take the 405 out for another game. This is a pretty decent map for the 4005. Naval Frontier, there are a lot of areas where I can cross the enemy team. I really hope these dudes stop side-hugging me, though, because I'm going to lose momentum as they keep doing this, and I want to be able to find this crossing. Maybe they're 183 if we can spot someone in the open right off the bat. Who knows? But we are going to go and see if we can cro clip the crossing, maybe. Now, WZ does pause there, which is probably not a bad I play at all. Let's put one quick shell into the yo. I'm not really sure where that shot went. Unfortunately, that one goes to, like, Narnia. Oh, wow, it's a spawn sniping type 70. Oh, my gosh, their whole team is spawn sniping. Well, that's how you lose all your hit points. Of course, because heavy tank sitting in spawn is the meta now. You're a type 71. Move your booty. Well, that was my bad. I shouldn't have poked there again. I wasn't sure. I didn't think the yo would even be able to hit me there, but he just grazed my lower plate. So, Pepega playing by me. Oh dear, this game is gonna kind of low-key suck, isn't it? The WZ was smart. He was like, I'll just let the dumb 4005 pull forward and take all the shots, and I'm just gonna sit back and do nothing and, and uh, wait for him to take all the shots there. But that definitely is the problem with the 4005, is you are just so big. If you get caught out, you are losing so many hit points. Nice one by the WZ. Let's get some revenge shots into this rat type. Yeah, die. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep pulling forward just so I don't die. We have dealt a thousand damage at least, but no, it's the TVP. He definitely spotted me up there. Hopefully our standard B can do something about Mr. TVP. I know there's going to be a 50B with them. It's going to reload the magazine right now. Although my allies are making quite the nice pressure down low, but now nah, we are dead. We are so dead. Yep, their whole team is just ratting on me. That was bad play by me. Uh, I don't want to go mid anymore. I don't know. Our, t our, our standard B wasn't able to hold the flank and our scent kind of abandoned him. But we should, we, I mean, we have a decent chance of winning this, I think. It kind of all depends on what my allies do from here. <laughs> Interesting play. Yeah, I didn't think... Well, I wasn't expecting the type to be there. I was like, okay, I might take a shot from the waffle, but I should be able to hit three or so shots on the yo there. And the 183, I thought maybe would still be pulling up. It wouldn't have... The 183 actually didn't have shots on me yet. He was still driving. But I kind of got nuked by the type and, and the waffle and the yo, which was a yikes. But it's okay. It happens. That's a great example of what happens when you don't play the uh, uh, the 405 as bright. I got, I got a little bit... Uh, Overconfident in my ability to snapshot the yo there. Hello, how are you? Already three months here. Hey, thank you for being a member for three months, Human Shark. Doing pretty okay. A little tired from streaming so much. I usually don't stream this much. Definitely killing my brain cells a little bit, but it's only for this week, and then I'm going back to my regular stream schedule. It's a boo. Hello. I still did a thousand damage, which you know is probably more than some of my allies. I think they actually might win this, though. In terms of positioning, my team should be good here. So we'll just wait for these dudes to finish off this game. Because the TVP is one shot. This AMX TV is not going to survive super long. So I guess, you know, their whole team just sitting in spawn and then the other dudes yellowing across wasn't really good for them because they didn't have enough map control here. You got this, type. Just pull forward. Don't let the AMX clip out the scent. I believe in y'all. I believe in y'all. We just had so many heavy tanks. In retrospect, I wasn't really reading the lineup as well. I should have just completely ignored mid and gone heavy side. Like, they didn't have holding heavies. We had a ton of holding heavies. I could have just gone and just farmed heavy side instead of going mid. But sometimes I get, my brain just goes onto autopilot mode and I'll just take the tank to wherever is like the classic position to take it. But if I was looking at the lineup better, I probably would have just completely ignored mid, judging by the fact that they had lightly armored heavies and mediums and just gone and yeeted heavy side. 
Not really sure what our type's doing here, but he should be good to kill the E4. We have triple cap. It's like practically impossible for us to lose this. Never mind, take it back. These dudes just might be throwing here. Our type is about to die to our mouse who is... Oh dear, mouse. Oh dear. Uh, you know what? I said it might be impossible for these dudes to, to lose this. I mean, we still have mega cap, but our mouse is just suiciding here. I, I don't know what he's thinking. Mount. No way. Oh man, my heavies. What are my heavies thinking? <laughs> like, okay, I didn't play that very well, but these heavies are throwing as, as, as hard as they possibly can. Now, if this Kron could just double shot the E4, he's good, but the issue is he can't spot the E4. Oh no, yep, and then CVP is going to kill him. Wow. Wow, these, bro, these heavies, what am I watching? Oh my goodness. Yeah, just, just wander into the open. You had triple caps. All you had to do was sit back and do nothing. What did I just watch? <laughs> I don't know what I just watched, dude. Our mouse driving with his turret in reverse, blocking our type 71. Our type 71 just taking shot after shot when he didn't need to. Like, I'm not saying I played that well either, but oh man. Seven year player, 30,000 games, Kron. 50%, 50%, type 50%. All these dudes are 50%. They played a little bit more like 45 though at the end of that game. God, I just say, but love what you're doing for the game. Hey, Vinny, thank you so much for the 10 euro donation. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, Shock, by the way, it's good to have you here. Yeah, nice early uh, early stream. You actually, you actually can show up, which is cool. <laughs> that throw, I know. Like, I didn't play that well, sure, but the heavies, there's no, there's absolutely no way those heavies should have lost that. Triple caps, and all three of them should have just been chilling there. But they just like one by one yoloed into the open and into a crossfire, which is the funniest part. All right, let's jump into the next matchup here. Now, once again, 4005, it's too big to play in certain areas. So they have a lot of heavies on the enemy team. My team doesn't really have as many heavies. I mean, we have a 57, I suppose. But what worries me just a little bit here is my team wants to play in the seaside, which is a perfectly valid flank to play your tier tanks. The turret is so massive that I can't really go haul down or corner peek on seaside, but I have to stick with my team or so I'm just going to get nuked. So I'm just going to use this more second line support. I have a feeling the enemy team are more likely to head into A. As you can see, they already have tanks spotted up on A. This is a logical play for them. They are, after all, very heavy in comparison to my own team. I'm going to see if I can spot any of these dudes up. Can't quite spot anyone. Oh, your wonder is going to be pre-aiming for me. Let's not poke that. Um... And let's get safe. I'll let our Kronvog and I say all oh, those dudes chill there. What I think I'll do instead, because I don't want to push into the enemy's flank and you know, right, get instantly crossfired out. Our 704 looks like he wants to play the kind of hold the rear position. I think I'm going to provide him that support. Let's wait to see if any of the enemy tanks overextend. I'm going to be a little passive here just because I need to figure out where the majority of their forces are going before... Before I make any big brainery poke. 704 makes a nice shot there. I just don't want to overcommit to this ditch in case they full YOLO, but... Seems like their team is all just sitting back. Although our, our ISA just got nuked. Ah, uh, it's so hard. I want to make a play, but I know if I'm overly aggressive right now, there's a very high chance I'll just get counter yellowed and die. Our Kron should be fine holding their spawn. I think he's versus a 57-405 combo there. 704 is doing his best to hold mid. Okay, that, that is a mouse. Let's aim one track shot into the mouse here. We have our reticle. Boom, two shots into Mr. Mousy Poo. Three shots into Mr. Mousy Poo. Tracking him again. We might be able to hit a pen, a third shot into Mr. Mousy Poo here. Boom. Reticle calibration coming in. Very handy there as we put a full, well, three out of four shots into that mouse. And taking down his hit points quite a bit there. Now, you can see the 1 2 1 B Waffenthrayer Kampf Panzer. All these dudes are like, ooh, 7 4 is isolated. This is what I was waiting for. I want to be able to provide that support to our 7 4 if he gets counter yield. Now, if I want to shoot this Kampf Panzer, although let's be passive for the time being, I'll have to make sure I pull actually really far forward. Because if I don't, that Waffenträger is just going to nuke me in return. All right, let's wait for these dudes to get a little over aggressive here. There's the E100. I think I'm going to focus the E100. He's more de deadly to me. So one shot into the E100, two shot into the E100. Let's load up some high explosive for the Waffle. Oh, that shot goes to Narnie, unfortunately. Put another shell to the Waffle. Let's pull back. This E100 is juicing for me. I guess he didn't like getting shot. So I'm definitely going to lose a few hit points here to the Waffle E100. Unfortunately, taking a couple of HEs there. I can't really back up that much. And that's my game over with, essentially, because the 1 2 is just going to yellow forward and kill me. Hopefully, my allies can make a play. I was Right, the enemy team would YOLO, but I, I kind of thought the STB and the other dudes would be a little faster in helping us, but I think they were clearing out town. I like, guess the issue with the 4005, no matter how good it is, you still you can still get wrecked super easily when players like that 100 are just like, I'm just going to YOLO across and shoot you, and the 1 to 1 has the DPM. But, okay, 
I'm, I'm going to be hesitant after what I said last game, but there really is no reason these players should lose this matchup because of the hit points and the gun advantage they have. There is also always possibility of 57. There is also the very likely possibility that these dudes will just completely... Mm. Teammates, please stop being so bad at this. T -I -T -T uh, please spend that. He's shooting HE. Yeah, this game is over. <laughs> uh, I try to help my allies and hold spawn instead of just going for damage like uh, like I usually would there. Just kind of... Uh, I don't know. Goodness, team. How are you guys throwing so hard every single match? It's because they're always YOLOing into the enemy team when they don't need to. Like, why, why couldn't we have just held? My gosh. This E100 has the easiest dub here. Unless he messes up this shot, but the cron... Yeah, he has the reload on the cron here. Ay ay ay. I love the 4005, and it is a good tank. These teams, though, man, they are like what what else could I do there? I provided as much support as possible to our 704. We were holding off like five tanks in spawn, essentially, me and him. The Kron did okay, but like, come on, T92. If he <laughs> STB, oh man. Oh dear. This is why I don't play what blitz in the in the early afternoon. Usually speaking, that I usually play at nighttime. <laughs> Mass making too early, made it by NPC teammates twice. Dude, tell me about it. Oh, man. Fatness, why do you still believe in teammates? Um, Because I still want to have some faith in humanity. I still want to have some faith. Okay, here's what we're going to do. All of these situations have just been complete trash for the 4005. Like, I'm getting these small open maps where everyone's just sitting in spawn hold down tips staring at you. Like, the 4005 is really strong. But you have to be able to catch tanks off guard. Like, that's the thing. So, you can either just sit back and snipe. And obviously, as you guys can see, I'm not sniping. Probably, if I was sitting back and being more of a passive sniper, where I wasn't trying to be so eager to dish out damage, it'd probably be better for my 4005. But I don't really like that play style. So, I do play, you know, a lot more aggressive than your typical 4005 players. But quick shot to this type. Very nice. 380. A little bit of a low roll, but I will take it. And we are not yet spotted up either. So, I'm going to keep kind of poking, spotting up this crossing. Maybe we'll find another heavy tank uh, in the open, or maybe one of their TDs will be in the open i am playing a little bit aggro in the mid but we can see the 260 actually is on the flank here we do find the badger and the enemy's 4005 let's pop that reticle calibration boom one shell into him he would be useless but two shots into their 4005 here very nice you can see just how tall that turret is this dude's gonna give me a third shot he gets taken down watch out if you're into 4005 take positions where you're not going to be super exposed like that because he couldn't hide he there was nowhere for him to go like you have to watch out for the profile on this tank now the gun worked really well for me there i was able to get some nice full magazine out into that uh, into those tanks up there but i think you know what we will do next is maybe this stb 54 they are kind of waiting for me let's pop that uh, concealable one shell into this dude 1.8 seconds second shell into this dude third shell into this dude plus a fire and a kill shot look how fast that stb just evaporated like yes this is much more what the 4005 is meant for take it into those situations where you will find that one or two tanks catch them off guard and just dunk on them with the full magazine now we're gonna lose a I don't really want to get crossfired out, so I think what I'm going to do here is let's kill, uh, let's kill the, the T-54. He's the one that can chase me down better here, so two shots in the 54. Let's pick up a quick kill shot on the 54, and we might even be able to pick up a quick kill shot on this dude. Well, he goes down anyways. Very nice. Already 4,000 damage dealt. Very satisfying game indeed. I think what we will do is just pull back into the mid once we reload our next magazine. Hopefully get some nice nukes out on this AMX 50 b who, who is this big chilling in the mid here. We do have ready cal re respawned in, so I am absolutely ready to just annihilate this dude with high explosive. One shell, 580. Two shots, 400, and a fire. He is practically dead. He gets taken down already. That AG, man. That AG is absolutely killer. And I think we could just yell on the bad chat. I mean, the badger, not the bad shot. That's a badger. And uh, hopefully get one or two shots into him. Although the E6 is probably going to steal some of my damages. He's just kind of driving into the open here. Um, Mr. Badger Poo, Mr. Badger Poo. One shell into Mr. Badger Poo. We will pick up the kill at least. Thanks for your inner clip. Nice. So not too bad. Finally, a good game. In the 4005, I feel so much more satisfied. That was probably about 5,000 or so damage with those fires. Much better. Yeah, 6,000 damage, as a matter of fact, almost. So, yeah. 
4005 thrives in engagements where you catch those tanks off guard. That should be your primarily goal when you are in this vehicle. So unfortunately, we just had a very bad couple of streak of games there. One of them was just me not playing so smart on naval. But, you know, getting those small town maps and stuff like that really does hurt in your 4005. Because you're just stuck and you have to wait around and hope you can farm damage up. I think the tank's more efficient with the old setup of the gun. The low rolls are pretty disappointing. Yep, here's the thing. The old 4005 was probably a little more versatile because you weren't you didn't spend so much time reloading when you had IR Alpha, so per shot. But the new 4005 is definitely much more deadly if you can hit that full magazine, you know, that 1600 damage. Now our Sheridan looks like he's gonna be a Pepega spawn sniping Andy over here. You are a Sheridan, you should move out of spawn, my dude. I am going to pull up here. Come on, buddy. Yes, you're a Sheridan. Go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Wait, wait, what you doing? <laughs> I, I want to shoot their 57, but this dude is blocking my my route to shoot their 57 here. There we go. All right. Well, oh my gosh. The Sheridan is such a Pepega player. All right. One shell to the 57. Let's aim two shots at Mr. 57. I get spotted up, apparently. Oh, and now the Sheridan's blocking me. Very nice players, man. Very nice. Dude, you're a Sheridan. Get out of spawn. You First, you block my route to climb up the hill, and then you block me. I'm definitely reporting this player after. Very stupid players, man. And our meds aren't even spotting up the hill, so that Vickers is what spotted me up because our meds are all just sitting in the back of spawn. Oh, man. It would have been fine if the Sheridan had a block to me. I would have got a full magazine into that um, 57, no problem. But our absolute small brain Sheridan there just ruining the game for me. This is why I hate sniping on this map. This spawn is so trash for sniping because you get spotted up by lights every time. The other spawn is so much better. So, I'm just going to sit back. I really hope our Sheridan gets full health racked. He deserves it for what he's been doing this game. I'm going to try and get some shots maybe to Mr. Bashathion here. See if he goes for a break for it. Maybe get a one shot to him. Oh, of course, the Sheridan blocks my shot. So, yay to that. Um, let's see. Maybe one shot to the bat shot. And the one to one blocks that shot. Wow. Yeah, allies are just being great this game. The Vickers is pulling through. Looks like my heavy tanks are already losing the heavy side. And this game is already over. We have no map control. I don't have hit points to really do anything right now. The Vickers is going to yellow for me. And, well, now I'm even lagging. Oh, great. Now the Vickers is going to kill me. I'm going to end up on like two shots of damage this game maybe here. Okay. Let's pull back for a second. Let's wait for this Vickers to get distracted and start shooting someone. Uh, Vickers. One shot to the Vickers light here. Two shots into the Vickers. Bro, you guys let the Vickers yellow in. What is this Vickers thinking? Why didn't he just hold a hill? He's just straight up yellowing into our whole team. Oh, mad these players. These players, before gore. Hey, yo, no, no spamming chat, my dude. No spamming chat. <laughs> I got griefed. Dude, the Sheridan gr griefed me. First, this dude is just sitting there where he has no shots, blocking my route to shoot their heavies. So I'm just like trying to encourage him to pull forward so I can actually pull up and shoot someone. He's just sitting there and then he just sits there and blocks me. I hate players like this. I wish they would all get perma banned. Useless Sheridan players, man. Oh, man. Of course, we were going to lose this game. Our heavies did absolutely nothing. Our Sheridan was a rat. And then our meds and lights didn't even spot up the hill there. I don't know what the Vickers was thinking, though. He, he straight up just yoloed in. Like, that was pretty whack. He could have held up top there. Perfectly fine. Anyways, I don't think we're going to win this game. I hope this, I, I hope the Sheridan just dies already. But he's just sitting in the back. He's going to spam many emotes in one message. Exactly. Here's Chad. Thanks for playing. Suits us. Your opinion is much appreciated. Yep. Man, these update teams have been so rad. I've been having, like, no fun playing pubs for the last few days. I don't know why, but everyone just completely loses all, like, logic after updates. And they either just YOLO like crazy, or you get players like the Sheridan, like, way more often than usual. So, Batchat's gonna die. Oh, 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 in before Batchat clutches up. Yo, Batchat with the clutch? Aw. Maybe the one to one will clutch up. We'll see. one to one played okay. I do wish they had gone up the hill, though, because if they'd prevented the Vickers from spotting me, this game would have been fine. Oh, rip. The issue is that our, our meds all just sat down low. Like, no one wanted to push there. My goodness, man. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. This is why I can't get good average with the 405 right now, and I have to do with Pepega and he's like the Sheridan here. Absolute rat player. 1800 games in the 183. Highest average is 2k in an auto loader. Very typical. <laughs> Oof, nice team. <laughs> yeah. This, this is just why I realized just the European server. Yeah, any server has a, a, a abnormally large amount of just rat troll players that do stupid stuff. 
Like, you're a Sheridan. Firstly, why are you sitting in spawn, sniping? Secondly, why are you, like, sitting in a position where you have zero shots and preventing your allied TDs from actually taking positioning to actually shoot the enemy team? And then thirdly, he just straight up blocks me. Like, nice meme. This is why I don't like Sniper the 405, though. If you snipe and you get spotted, it's it's just so useless. Everyone hits you. I think what I'm going to do here is go entrance of town. They don't have the best holding heavies. And let's just try and get a good game out. Absolutely enjoying these same control mode off uh, PC teams. A very nice experience. Uh, post update as well. Unfortunately, I'm not getting any high damage out. No, that TVP is going to be so annoying if he goes corner. But oh well, I, I guess we'll just have to accept that. TVPs are easily one of the most kind of busted tanks in the game right now. So let's see. Object 84. Boom. One quick shell into his tank there. Very nice. We won't get two, but at least we got one shell into him. He was being really aggressive there. And our 54 looks like he's pushing across as well. We might have shots in the Skoda. So let's pull back for a second. One shell into the Skoda. We track him in the open. Two shots and a fire. Who knows? Maybe we'll even be able to pick up a kill here if he pulls forward. Not quite, but I will happily take that in terms of early damage. Maybe a Yag and a, and a Conway in the back. Enemy team are capping B. I'm just going to get unspotted. Let's pull back for a second and see what the TVP is doing. Now, we don't want to lose triple cap here. Okay, the Yag isn't here. I think if our 54 can start pressuring the TVP, that would probably be super helpful for my allies here. So, 54 looks like the TVP wants to pressure him, which is perfectly fine for me. So, TVP shoots once. He shoots twice. He has 600, 300. All right, he has one shot left, essentially. And boom. We're going to pull in, and we're just going to ruin this dude's day. One HE, two HE, 425, unfortunately. Another HE here. He gets taken out. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Thank you to the 54. He provided excellent cover fire. I'm going to just jump on B cap on A or C cap just so we don't fall to a cap deficit. And already this game is looking much better. So yeah, 4005. I tried camping it at once, got got wrecked by my own teammate. And then, yeah, I think I think second line 4005 is still definitely my preferred play style when possible. We're going to pull into the mid here. Hopefully we'll have crossfire on some of these dudes from behind. Here's a Skoda. Chieftain, I don't know if he can spot me up just yet, but let's just take it easy in case he can. The Yag, I don't currently have shots of Mr. Yeageru. I think what I can do, though, is pull behind these dudes. Maybe the Yeageru gets spotted up. I probably should, logically speaking, go back and kill the M103. I don't want to get super split up from my allies, but if we can catch some of these guys off guard from behind, maybe get a full magazine to the Yag or something, that could be super useful for my allies. So I'm going to just kind of pull through here. Now, I believe the Yag got his camo nerfed while the 405 didn't, so we should be able to outspot him still. I don't know if they got wrecked. It would have been a waste of my time to go for him anyways. And uh, there we go. Let's pop a reticle calibration. Reload consumable. One shell into Mr. Yeageru. Two shots into Mr. Yeageru. And let's aim for a track shot. Three shots into Mr. Yeageru. 1,400. 1,825 damage to that Yag. That's when this... Oh, man. When you catch tanks off guard, there is nothing like doing 1,820 damage. It, it really just... Mmm... It feels so good to just nuke players like that poor Yeageru for so much there. Now, I don't think he'll outspot me here, but he is kind of pre-aiming in for me. Let's see. Is he going to pull forward? He's going to pull back. Maybe lower plate shot. Nice. We get a lower plate shell into this Yeageru here. He is feeling the burn of the FV4005 when it's chatting on him. So, I think what we can do here, the Conway, I believe, is in the mid still. So, if I can cash this Conway out, I might be able to kill him. Um, I maybe should just kill the Yag, but... You know, the Yag is a little farther back. We are down double caps here. So, let's catch this Conway out. One... Oh, no. I get I get wrecked by... Oh, I get wrecked by the gun elevation. The gun elevation on this thing clearly is not very good. Unfortunately, missing a couple shots. We've done 5k, but the Conway, Chieftain, they're both coming in for me. And I don't have the DPM to hold here without getting absolutely farmed out by these lads. The, the Chieftain's definitely making the right play here. However, is it right enough? So, I am not yet a one-shot. I have six seconds here, and I can pop my reticle calibration. I'm safe from the Conway for now. All right. Oh, Chieftain done messed up a shot. One HE into him. Let's pick up that kill. Oh, oh, we'll need three shots because low rolls, 6,000 damage dealt. Enemy team wins via cap. No, my allies. What were they thinking? No. I did okay. I did okay. Uh, gun elevation kind of messed me up there pretty bad, unfortunately. Uh, the Conway, I should have penned at least a couple, uh, a full magazine into, but then the gun elevation is like, no. And the first shot kind of dunked there. We did deal 6,000 damage, but once again, the allies just doing absolutely nothing. I mean, we have 3,800 average in it today. Even with the really bad streak of games I've had, we still have almost 4K average, but the win rate is like 38. So, yeah. 
<laughs> it, it, the 4005 is a little bit more team dependent than it used to be, in my opinion. Just because you don't really have as much DPM to go out and nuke people. What camo is that on the leopard? Kind of looks cool. Um, and so you have to watch out for that, especially when your teams are being very unpogged. Right now, the teams are being a little sussy. Sussy bacas, but uh, rip got elevation. Yeah, rip now I got elevation. I think what I'm going to do here... Okay, 60 TP. It's risky. They have a 140 that goes 60. They have a grill, Conway. They have a lot of... T you know, the safe play would be the spawn snipe sit at entrance of town. I probably should have done that, and in retrospect, I think I'm making a huge mistake, but I'm already committed to this site. Uh, the 140 will be able to outspot me here. I'm just gonna play it safe in the in the dunes for now. I, I think their team's probably gonna go AB, maybe. There's a pretty decent chance. My team's also a little bit split here. We'll wait to see what the Leopard 1 spots up, and you know, if we can find one of their tanks out of position, then we can maybe nuke them for a ton of damage, but it really depends on on what the enemy, where the enemy team goes, what my allies spot up. There is a wild gorilla 15 over here. Unfortunately, can't quite nuke him because he pulled into cover. There's the Emil as well. So the enemy team is uh, going down. Okay, potential damage, yes. Really depends on who gets spotted up, how fast, and when. Now this Yo might have done messed up big time here. Let's put one shell into Mr. Yo before he can pull back. Using that reticle calibration and consumable, two shots into Mr. Yo. We also find Mr. Object 140. One shell into Mr. Object 140. Let's aim a second shot into Mr. Object 140. 1,600 damage dealt there very easily. That's why I run reticle calibration on this tank, man. The reticle just allows you to snapshot so well. And, you know, if you're playing the, if you're playing the 4005 correctly, you hopefully won't be getting nuked too often by tanks that catch you off guard. Now, obviously, if you get caught in the open, yeah, you're going to lose all of your hit points. Let's put one shell into this dude over here. Maybe I wasted my reload boost consumable, but if we can get some more shots on Mr. Grill or maybe Mr. Conway here, kind of depends on who pulls forward, when or where. And the Conway safe. The Grill is going to get nuked for all of his HP. I think I can just keep holding dunes for now. I don't really like sniping, but I don't really have an option opportunity to push down. Let's see. Maybe this Emil... Nice one shell to Mr. Emil here. It's in a second shell to Mr. Emil. Kind of goes under his turret. Mr. Conway's pushing across. Boom, 442. We've already dealt 3,000 damage, and it took almost no effort at all. That's why we love this gun. And if you're using cooldown boosters like I am, absolute goaded cooldown boosters, do not sell your cooldown boosters. Keep them for the 4005. I am... I'm getting these consumables back just so fast. So... Hopefully, my team should be in a decent position to win this. Now, enemy teams still have some very strong heavy tanks that are on a lot of hit points um, and some conways and stuff. So, we definitely don't want to overextend and get ourselves nuked. Now, this Kranwagen... Kranwagen looking a little bit like a snack, though, I, I will admit. Uh, Kranwagen, maybe this type. Let's put one shell to Mr. Type here. Let's get ready to pop a second shell to Mr. Type here. Let's get ready to pop a third shot at the Mr. Type here. Let's pull back so he can't quite shoot me. Fourth shot. That type just took, I don't know how much damage he took, but he took a lot. He was practically full health, right? So he took a lot of damage. And we've already dealt 4,000 damage so easily, just like that. I absolutely love when you can play the 405 in kind of bigger open maps, and it just allows you to go and, and catch players off guard so, so easily. So Mr. Type here is giving me one shot. Let's get a second shell to Mr. Type, and let's get a kill into Mr. Cromwell. We're at it, 5,500 damage dealt, and it took like no effort at all. <laughs> Free a storage space on your device. Huh? Venice, do you have an EU account? I have a EU press account, but I don't really use it. Try to delete or install it. I see. 5.5k, second class. Much, much better game. Uh, let's see. How much did I hit that type for? Because I wasn't paying attention. Oh, right. I full helped him. But it took two shots. So, we, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's six shots to full health that poor dude. Insta vanish. Type having a very bad day. Almost at 4,000 damage again. Broken alert. Yes. So, we, we are getting the full spectrum of FV4005 gameplay right now. You're getting, like, the really poggers games where the tank is just absolutely farming out. And, and then you're getting the games where you play a little stupid and you get nuked very easily or you get a little over-aggressive, a little greedy. I think I've shown you guys a very nice spectrum of how this tank performs. Definitely, when in doubt, play the 4005 more cautious. I tend to be an overly aggressive player. Which has always been my thing. I love playing aggro. That's why I love medium lights. We're going to see all around be aggressive on players and stuff. In the 4005, you have to exercise a little bit more caution and in intellect. <laughs> Griefing these tools. 5.5k in three minutes. Uh, why do you speak... <laughs> why do you speak the Twitch language? Eh? What do you mean? Man, every 45 didn't need the force shell. Didn't need it, but unlike the 50B, at least it's still very relevant with its force shell, in my opinion. All right. A wild gorilla 15 crossing in the open. Um, can't quite pre that super well. The bush was way getting in my way. I'll make sure I don't get spotted up here. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. 
No one's spotting up C. I'm gonna right away reload. I'm getting out of here. We don't know if there's a Sheridan, a 4202. Who knows what's pushing up top? 4202 is already gonna spot me up here. At least I have a spawn liner, so let me take 200 damage there. But as I anticipated, yeah, the enemy team are pushing up top. I don't want to deal with that. I, I really just don't want to deal with that. I think I'm just going to yeet into A cap. I might lose a couple hit points doing this, but I, I would rather get safe on A and, and just away from any massive crossfires, right? So hopefully we don't get nuked on this crossing. Nice. We are currently safe. The grill is here. There's the Sheridan. Let's pop that ready calibration for the Sheridan. We get one nice shell into Mr. Shower Don. Can't quite hit a second shell into him, but he's playing... He might not know I have good shots on him from here. So let's wait for him to pull forward again. Boom, second shell. Oh, yes, the reticle calibration helping out so much. Now, obviously, old 4005 with its higher alpha would have been better there. But at least we still hit those shots. I'm going to reload and get ready to start shooting my next victim. I'm very happy I pulled out of the mid when I did. Once I've reloaded this next magazine, maybe we can go for these AMXs or something. Whoever's pulling into our spawn area and, well, catch them off guard and grief them, right? That's, that's kind of the plan. Now, as for anyone spotting my spawn, no one's spotting spawn, which does concern me a little bit. That means, you know, if they're Sheridan, they're 422, those dudes really want to get aggressive in our spawn. We don't really have anyone to stop them. I think the Chieftain's going to go back up the mid. I'm going to be a little passive for now. There's the 422 I was worried about. I don't think he's going to go in, though, just yet. Let's see if these dudes... I'm going to use our Chieftain as bait. Okay, here's the 50B, though. 50B for starters. Now, I don't think he lo he's looking at me, which is good news. One put one shell to Mr. 50B. Good news. This Chieftain, uh, this AMX 5120 might get a little over-aggressive here, trying to shoot our Chieftain. So I'm going to act like I'm pulling back. Let's see what happens. AMX is pretty probably just waiting for me. So I, I would love to cover that dude, but I think I'm just going to clip out this E100 while he's in the open because I can see that AMX is waiting for me. And oh, man. Absolutely griefing that E100 there. That dude just got ratted on. Amex did pull forward. Unfortunately, I won't be able to assist our Chieftain. And look at the minimap. I have no support. My whole team's on the other side. So I have to start making preparations to get out of here. I really feel bad abandoning our Chieftain and maybe our Progetto. But uh, you know what? Actually, I have the HP to hold here. I'm going to hold for the crossfire. My allies are going to just destroy that side anyway. So maybe I don't have to worry so much. I, I might be a little bit over concerned right now after, well, the streak of games I've had so far today in this tank. Let's see. Maybe if this AMX 5120 makes a play. I think 5120 is going back. The 50B is about to go down. Sheridan's in Narnia. Not really sure what the 4202 is. So 4202 is probably just sitting back, huh? I'm going to wait for these dudes to start doing a little bit more aggressive plays here. Okay, there's the Vickers. He goes down. I should be able to kill the C100 here momentarily. There's the there's the Sheridan. There's also the 4202. Sheridan messes up though. We got a nice clean kill up on his vehicle here. And I think, you know, if we get 550 max roll on this 4202 here, we should we should be big chill. And just put one quick shell into him. We'll slow the APCR up just in case. Pick up a quick kill. 3300 damage. Not the highest damage game. But it was a bit of a weird situation where I really couldn't stay in the mid and farm out. I got no early farm. And I kind of just had the I kind of just had the pull into A and hold there. My allies did a pretty good job though, sweeping through the enemy spawn and picking up all those skills and stuff. They were working as an absolute unit. But in terms of effectiveness, 33. I'll take the dub at this point because the win rate is still 50%. 10 games in. <laughs> Very nice. I would like to get the win rate up to like 65, 70 if I can. Can't wait for the 9.1 Badger stream. Te uh, tech Badger feels so good right now, dude. The Badger is insane. So yeah. Badger, maybe I'll do the Badger tomorrow. I still got to try and do the TVP tonight uh, in, in like six hours. So, woof, busy streaming schedule. Do you want to play on a MacBook Pro like I do? I play on... <laughs> uh, no, I play on the on the Bigger Brain iPad Pro. Yes, 167 likes. Thank you very much, guys. Let's reach that 200 like mark. How's, how's going, Atrif? I love early streams. Thank you, good riddance. I am doing well. Thank you very much for asking. I think what we're going to do here, now they have a grill, 183. They also have a Type 57, AX 6120, 60 TP. They have a lot of Pepega heavies, but my team appears to mostly be kind of going in towards town. I think I'm going to go town. This could be a bad idea. Now their team might go A. If they go A, good. I can get lots of crossfires. If they come this way, uh, your boy done screwed. And your boy, your boy is very much done screwed. Put one shell to Mr. Grill here. Let's aim for that track, maybe. The second one misses, unfortunately. And right now, I just got to start pulling back because I already know that Type 71 is going to be like, ooh, 40 out of 5. Must shoot at him. So I got to pull into safety here. I'm going to do my best to get out of here as quickly as possible. Those rats Type 71s, you know, I'm not a huge fan of those tanks just because they're very, very Pepega. Why would you want to play Type 71 in this current meta? Anyways, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and use this thing as cover. I'm going to start getting ready to drop into this ditch. We're still going to use this as cover. I'm going to pull out and towards our spawn. And um, our Chieftain suicided. Our AMX 50B should be able to hold okay for now. 
but I don't want to get stuck in like any massive crossfires. Now, I might want to continue cover firing our um, AMX to be here in case he gets counter yielded by the type or something. Although, uh, no, I'm going to get spotted up by this dude. I have to kill this, this, uh, this TI2 first. We do manage to pick up a quick kill on the TI2. Unfortunately, I got spotted up for that, though, which is a bit unfortunate. All right, type, I believe, has just fired his gun. It's hard to tell, but he is in the open for the time being. APCR should hopefully be able to pen this one. We get one nice shell into Mr. Type 71 here. Two nice shots into Mr. Type. I'm going to sit outside of the bush so he doesn't have a spot to hide. Nice! That worked perfectly. Able to get it. Three full APCR shells into Mr. Type 71, punishing him for being overly aggressive there. Hopefully our AMX ATB will be able to finish him off. If he can't, it's fine. I'm just gonna sit back for a little bit longer. Wait till I can get some more more shells into unsuspecting targets. Speaking of unsuspecting targets, I think we have just found our first victim. Let's pop the radical calibration and am, am I unable to shoot through the rails? All right, one shot through the rails here. Two shots through the rails here. Three shots through the rails here. AMX 5120 getting absolutely bopped. And I think this was the wise decision. Pulling back a little bit. Finding the position where I can just casually cover fire. Unfortunately, I'm not really sure how that first shot missed the AMX. But it looked like the center of the rail car was actually like uh, an area where you couldn't pen. So I done, I done messed up a little bit there. But we should still be fine. Nice. That dude goes down. So it just leads to AMX, the grill, the type 71. I should be chilling for now. Uh, at, at least in terms of being able to deal damage soon. So let's see. Type 71's in the open. Let's wait to see if this grill overextends. Maybe the type will give me a kill shot here. Unfortunately, the first shot misses, but the second one should not miss. Nice. Get a clean, clean and easy kill on this dude. I only have two shots left in the magazine, so let's see if we can spot the wild grill. One shell to Mr. Grilla 15 here, and I think he's just going to pull forward. 3,800 or so damage dealt. Not too bad. And I think I'll just go for the last shot on this AMX on this grill here. Let's see if we can get it in in time. The grill's going to be pulling forward. Or maybe we'll kill the AMX. It all depends on what my allies do. Okay, there we go. The grill's probably going to get shot by the 57. Anyway, so not a shabby game. We do get proxied by the Gorilla 15. He is in B cap and, well, he's probably going to die pretty fast, isn't he? 57 hits one and grill is just not going to shoot. Oh, grill bounce. Nice. Oh, 57, you fluffed your shot, son. I, I ran into a pole. Very good fatness gameplay here. Quality. Um... So there's like no one gonna kill this grill 57 there's no way you just died to that man okay well 57 done fluked a little bit there mr girl's trying to run away let's pick up the kill very nice just under 4,000 damage we played that well 100 percent played the positioning game correctly there you know we were a little aggressive at first i was like who knows maybe the heavies won't come this way heavies got spotted i'm like okay you know i got first couple shots up but now i gotta get out of here immediately repositioned myself where i'd be able to sit behind my heavies and provide that crossfire and i guess you know the type didn't realize i was just gonna sit back and snipe him so we, we farmed good damage 57 did pretty good as well and so not bad i like we're getting some dubs now this is very satisfying Russian guys are welcome here. Yes. Fat is losing prayers to also so many streams. I, it, definitely. Yeah, if I play way too much Blitz, my, my intelligence levels drop. This is why I don't play very much when I'm in school. <laughs> would you balance? Which tech tree would you recommend grinding down? Preferably med lights. I have Leo 1 already. Yo, okay. This might sound a little crazy of me. We have no meds, so I'm going to go heavy side. Sheridan. The Sheridan is absolutely, like, poggers right now. I do not know why. I was playing it last night, and I won 100% for, like, 10 games with, like, 4,300 average. And I was just bopping people left, right, and center. I didn't think, four, like, okay, 425 Yuan is actually probably Loki the best buff about it, is you outspot everything now. But I didn't think the... You know, once I got a reload, and terrain resistance would make that big of a difference to how just memeable the Sheridan is. I, I, I low-key want to do another stream on the Sheridan because I am just like, okay, I have 4,500 games in the Sheridan, and my love for the tank has just blossomed once again, thanks to Wargaming's uh, very big brain buffing of the tank. Now, I do get spotted up a little early here. This i seven being a little over aggro. Let's pull forward so we don't get shot by him. Very nice. We'll pull back a little bit. I don't want to overextend though here. But it does seem like Mr. I7 is thinking of backing up a little further. Let's put another shell to him. Very nice. We might even be able to hit a second shell, a third shell to him, track him in place. Ah, uh, yes, that 4005 magazine going burr on this I7 who gets caught out. And we do 1700 damage to this I7. Like, bro, if you can play your 4005, welcome to the new meta as the 62A loses full hit points in a couple of seconds. Poor dude. Um, welcome to the new meta where everyone is just like getting nuked left, right, and center. 
in ridiculously fast amounts of time. Let's pick up a quick kill on this IS-7, maybe. If Rainbow Hunter doesn't, I will. Nice. Very good stuff there. The Yo, the 4005. 4005, I don't think it's giving me any shots. 50B might. Let's see if we can hit these boys. We hit those. Hey, we do hit those. Let's go. I am big brain. Let's put another shell to the Yo as well. Nice. Okay. So... Getting some good damage in here. Now we can see there's a 50B in the back. I think I have a nice crossfire. There's no reason for me to overextend just yet. Although the game's pretty over. There's only four tanks left, really. Well, five tanks. Uh, I was gonna try and pull him behind the badger. Maybe just like HE clip him just for the memes. But I think he's in a safe position now. Let's see. Badger's safe. What's the 5A up to? I don't really know what the 5A is up to. But the 5A has a lot of DPM. I'm a little scared. All right. I think we can just maintain our crossfire status for now. Let's see if Mr. Badger messes up and pulls into the open and gives me some shots here. I'm waiting for him to pull forward a little bit more. Seems like he's in a stationary position, in which case, I think I'm just going to go for the 5A. Maybe we'll flank the Badger, get some HE into him, but the Badger's no longer HE clippable, so I'm not going to worry so much about trying to nuke him right now. But I think I should have made this play sooner. I didn't mean it's 4 and 0. I was a little passive there. Although sometimes that happens in the 405 where like you just want to kind of sit back and snipe But then you realize you're giving up opportunities to deal damage. You have to have your timing done, right? I kind of messed up my timing there on when to pull forward when to pull back however Let's pop that ready cow. Let's load up some HE 416 to this dude another shell to this dude. Let's load up an APCR shell boom quick kill to this dude Let's pull forward with ready key calibration poop another kill like Bro, it's so deadly! Like, this tank is... Dude, I didn't even have to use my reload boost consumable, and the reticle calibration just carried the tank so hard there. Now, obviously, this dude's definitely getting done nuked before I can farm any damage on him. Unless our E100 massively... Oh, our E100 high rolls. But, I'll take it. For our Troy people watching, 108 likes. Let's pick up, fellas, and smash the like button. Shocky poo. Thank you very much. Привет. Как твои дела? Ah, привет, привет. У меня все хорошо, спасибо. All right, same camera. There we go. All right, cool, cool. Well, we managed to pick up 4K. Very easy game. I mean, what on earth did I do there? I sat there. I shot the IS-7. I shot at the other people at the end, and that was my whole game. Like, yeah, chill 405 gameplay. It really feels good. I think most players are going to appreciate the 405 in its current state. There will be some people, and I myself had my concerns when Wargaming were announcing their changes to the 405. I was like, eh, I don't know. You know, 3-shot 405 is already my favorite tier 10 TD. I think the 405 is still easily ranked as my favorite tier 10 TD. I think just its unique play style and ability can't be beat. Now, I know I don't generally speaking like sniping on Castilla. However, this spawn is an exception. It is actually much more difficult to get spotted on the spawn. Hopefully we won't have any Pepega Sheridans coming up and blocking me, which is, you know, not a very fun gamer experience. Um, and we can get some good damage out. Really depends, though, if our Progetto is able to keep the enemy off of our back. So, I'm going to go up to the spawn hill. My goal is to just absolutely wreck maybe their mouse, uh, K91, E5. Whoever gets overextended, we are just going to just slam dunk on them. Now, the mouse is sitting in the enemy spawn. I don't know how he got spotted up already. But there he is. It looks like the entirety of the enemy team just might be going A. That's, that's just a guess I'm harboring right now. I think their team's going A, because no one spotted on C, and they're just going to YOLO in on our Bash Atheon. So I'm going to prepare myself to put to go into a position where I can provide cover fire for a Bat Trap. It seems like... Dang, I was really hoping they would go C, where I'd get super good farm. Seems like they are going A, though. So I'm going to wait here for a second. It's only a matter of time before someone pulls into the open. Progetto's our first victim. One shot into Mr. Progetto. Two shots into Mr. Progetto. Three shots into Mr. Progetto. And Mr. Progetto's dead. Bro. So, even though I take a shot from their Waffen 3, nope, their E3, that was some high alpha. We still did 1600 damage to that Progetto who got over, over aggressive there and just yeeted him for all of his hit points essentially. Very nice. Now we know where the E3 is roughly. Waffenträger should ideally be our first victim here. We have a few seconds left on the reload. One quick shot to the Waffenträger, make him into a one shot here. We also have a K91 in the open. Let's put one quick shot to him, back up a little bit. He fired once there, let's aim this in. Second shot, very nice indeed. Now let's aim in a third shot on him. Very good. Unfortunately, taking a shot from the Waffle, not a great idea. But we have dealt 3,300 damage there. Honestly, if I wasn't so tunnel visioned, I should have killed the Waffle, but we still have this Waffle for cover fire. So I'm not concerned about these dudes just YOLOing me right now. Now, the E5, I believe, is on encounter. Good to know. 
Other waffle is just drilling, farming out damage. There's the enemy's Waffenträger. We do have our reload boost consumable back, which is nice, which means if I can catch one of these Babega Piggies off guard, we might be able to pick up some kills here. There's the K91, one, one shell towards him. And we have the reload boost consumable. He has a 3.5 second interclip, so I can just pick up a quick kill on him and pull forward. That's 4,000 damage dealt already. Unfortunately, that first shot got kind of fluffed, but the consumables low-key saved me there. Now, Hmm, I don't like this. Okay, so our Waffenträger got a little scared and pulled back. I'm gonna pull forward. That way if this E3 tries to YOLO in, I'm gonna keep an eye out on their Waffenträger, hopefully, if he tries to come in and YOLO from me behind, but he's probably gonna pick up the kill on me here. Can't really do much about it, although we bait the E3. No, the Waffle does kill me. I figured. Our Waffenträger not really being the most supportive player here. Um, I don't, yeah, I kind of wish he had just stayed where he was and that way we could have worked together. I took a few too many shots there, that was my bad, and our allies are kind of getting farmed out, but I think they should have the game in the bag here. Our E6 is being a very uh, in intellectual heavy tank player. Wow, yes. Good job, brother. That is how you sit in, on a spawn hill and snipe. Good job, enemy 45 getting nuked. Okay, so not too bad of a game. We did okay. I... Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have taken some of the shots in the Waffen Trigger. And honestly, what I should have done is when that E3 got spotted behind, I should have just pulled forward, anticipating their Waffle was going to try and poke me and killed him. That would have been the smarter play instead of trying to shoot the E3. I just thought there was maybe a chance their Waffle was right behind the E3. So I thought maybe, you know, I don't know. It wasn't the best play. Honestly, I probably should have just tried to kill the E3 there. Unfortunately, our E6 is still doing nothing. Um, go. No! What is he doing? No, 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 flank E3. If the E6 goes behind the E3's problem self, now he's putting himself in a position where the, where the 4005 can clip him out. Oh, no. Ah, uh, this is E3. It's E6. Well, I'm gonna just enjoy a sip of water, and let's, let's, just watch, let's just watch these dudes play it out. I think they're gonna throw. Personally, I think the E6 is gonna get nuked by the E3 and full clip to the 4005. There's still a chance they could, they could win this, but my confidence is pretty low, and... Oh, uh, Ice Force dead. This dude's about to get HE'd up the bum. Oh, 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 oh. What, what? No, he's dead. He is so dead. Yep. Totally didn't call it, by the way. This dude could have just pulled down the hill <laughs> and flanked the E3 and killed him. We would have been fine. Now, the, the M4 MLE, if he has tungsten shells, he low key could. Oh, he got spotted, though. That's. No, he didn't. Tungsten, you got this, tungsten. You got this, tungsten. No, he should have shot AT at a small liner. You only have like 600 AT alpha. Uh, this game's gonna be a few more minutes, but we can just sit back and wait for these dudes to hopefully finish off, or hopefully the M4 will clutch up pretty quickly. We shall see. What is the Cavalist players? I don't know. Gamers very big gamers. I was really hoping our e6 would just flank the the e3 there All he had to do is pull off that hill and go through a spawn He could have killed the e3 and he would have been hauled down But he kind of just he kind of took the straightforward approach which Loki sucks, but hey well <laughs> Okay, e3. He probably doesn't have a ton of experience All right, let's see you got this, buddy. They're both one-shots. Theoretically, he could win this if he plays it right, but there's only a minute and 20 seconds left here. I'm going to see. Hmm. I don't think he can clutch this up. Poor dude. Oh, he got spotted, too. Oh, no. He probably got spotted from the left. Or, no, maybe from behind. Or from... Where was he spotted from? Oh, well. I think he's just sending it in hopes of winning. <laughs> 240 likes. Thank you very much, guys. I've been subscribed for years. Hey, what's up? Any tips for transitioning from PC to tablet? I have AK games on PC. Uh, you just have to play it out, really. You just have to get the experience. I mean, yeah, unless you're playing comp, I'd say just probably continue playing PC, but that all kind of depends. Oh, 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 pick up the kill on the 4005, 45. No, if you kill the 4005, he might be able to quest that up, but he was looking at the wrong target. Oh, well, at least he tried. At least he tried. You know, at least he didn't sit back and go for a draw. I see so many players go for draws, and M4 at least tried to get the dub there. So we did 4.4. I think a few mistakes in terms of taking shots that I definitely shouldn't have from the Waffenträger in particular, but... Um... Oh, bless this E6. Bless him, he only has 1,600 games. Poor players. <laughs> if I has always good vibes on your streams. Hey, thank you very much. I still got grasp with that process. Don't try to. Don't try to. That That's the key. Just understand. It just is what it is. <laughs> For you, what's the most exciting tank since 9.1? Uh, 
TI 5e6 TVP is probably the most exciting. 100%. There's no doubt the TVP is just like insanely good right now. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a huge fan of this of this map here. Um, they have double 60 TPs, ISA, K91. They have a lot of really good kind of heavies, and we only have tier 9 meds. Now, I don't usually snipe on this map. I don't really like sniping on this map, but committing to any one flank right now is probably a really bad idea. I think I'll just go towards the entrance of town. I'm not going to overcommit anywhere until I figure out where the majority of their tanks are and who I can hopefully punish if they get over, if they overextend. Now, there's the Object 140. Let's see the Object 140's new turret armor. Uh, let's see how effective it is. He is, oh, he's going to be fine. I think, I don't think he's going to pull forward any farther than that. I really can't push anywhere because the issue is our meds are all in Narnia, essentially. Um, all right, there's the Vicar's Light. I was right not to sit and spawn. They have a couple of tanks on A, but that's about it. So here's what I think I might do here. Let's try our best to clear out A with the rest of our allies. It seems their 60 TP are split. So there's only one 60 TP. One's in the mid, one's at uh, one's at A. And uh, Leopard just gets absolutely hammered there. I think mm, maybe the Vickers is going to YOLO for our Type 61. Let's just wait back and see what happens. So, all right. Reticle calibration, boom, let's aim for a track shot, one track shot, two track shots, let's aim for a third track shot, and maybe a max roll. Goodbye. 1,800 damage, reticle calibration, plus the interclip reload boost consumable. The Vickers got quadruple permit track there. He couldn't run. Like, he used his repair kit and was getting ready to pull back, but he just got... Dude, you have less than two seconds to pull back when this thing tracks you, if you're using the rec equipment and running the consumables on this thing. That poor dude just got annihilated. Now my allies are doing a very poor job on A. They're getting, abs they're, they're pretty much just getting uh, wrecked over here. Unfortunately, there's not too much I can do about it either. There's enemy 60 TP who probably spotted me up in just a moment here. I'm gonna sit back for just a second. I think the game is a bit over. Unfortunately, the allies are, yeah, allies are just throwing. I don't know why they, they went ship when the enemy team clearly had better heavies. We would have been better off going med side because we didn't have holding heavy. He's like, we had 160 TP and that was it, right? So let's just wait for this dude to pull forward and give me some shots here. All right, one shell into this dude. Very nice. He's going to pull back a little bit. But we do get a second shell into him. There's the object 140. We get another shell into this dude. Very cool. And maybe another shot. That one unfortunately ricochets. And it's, it's pretty much just game over at this point. Really not much else for me to do here. I can pull around. I can do whatever I, I can to try and follow damage, but it's already over for me. Best thing I can do is just pull back. Don't let this 140 shoot at me any more than I have to. Come on, come on. Come on, please. Oh, he high rolled 388, and we are dead. One shot. No! So, unfortunately, allies, not the greatest there, were they? That's, um, that team really, <laughs> oh boy. Um, they really died pretty quickly. I got 3k out. Our 57 did zero. Our type did zero, or... Leopard did one shot, or E75 did one shot, or 752 did one, sh two shots, and our 62 did not two shots. So, oh boy, the 140, like, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the 140's medium tank. As a light tank, it's pretty good right now, but dude, that dude just sat there with his 3500 DPM and just free farmed that whole flank. Vinograd, ah, privia, bro, privia, Godzilla. Man, you're insane. <laughs> good to see you, dude. I'm sorry, I wasn't reading chat. Good to see you. Uh, first, Alliance, thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel. Appreciate it very much. Now, uh, comments, not so with types. Dude, I know ties are so much fun. Things are absolutely pepega. I agree. Okay, you know what we're gonna do here? Um, I don't necessarily... I don't necessarily want to go mid or med side. Here, like, in the 4005, it seems like every single time that I play this tank, I am just convinced the best way to play is just gotta chill back behind your heavy tanks and go to wherever there's the biggest obstacles that can block your tank from getting shot at. So I think we're gonna go town here. Odds of the enemy team coming this way is about 40-60 I would say. Judging by the Progetto's aggressive spotting on the flank, there is a very good chance their team is all going up top. We spot a wild 5A, so we get one shell to Mr. 5A here. Unfortunately, we're not going to get more than one shell to Mr. 5A. There is an E3 up and up top here. Mr. 5A is looking my way to put another shell towards him. Very nice. Maybe we can get some more shots on anyone else crossing up top here. But so far, we got a decent crossfire right off the bat of this game here. Uh, I don't have any more shots on the 5A for now, but if he pulls forward once again, put one shell to him. Unfortunately, that one kind of goes a little bit too high. There was a Jaeger up top as well. I think I'm just going to reload. 
and pull deeper into the enemy spawn. We should have a better crossfire from where we are. So, yeah, that was a great board, really. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, the Yag will give me shots in just a moment. I just have to make sure I stand spotted for the time being. Let's get ready to dunk on Mr. Jaeger next time he gets spotted up. So let's remain unspotted. We still have a reload boost consumable, which is good news. That means lots of potential damage soon. Unfortunately, I don't have any view range. I'm gonna have to wait just a, a few seconds longer. And, uh, there's the IS-4. I'm waiting for the Mr. Jaeger to get spotted up in the open here. Come on, Mr. Jaeger, get spotted up. I'm waiting for you. There we go. There's Mr. Yeageru. Let's wait. Radical Calibration's back as well. Boom. One shot. Boom. Two shots. Slow down the APCR. Boom. Three shots. And almost four shots. Like, oh man, the ability to just deal that much damage in a few seconds is very, very nice. Now, I think the AG E3, these dudes are actually going to die very fast. This game looks like it's pretty much won for me and my allies, which is good. I think I'm just going to go kind of towards our spawn. Maybe we'll catch the IS-4 and the VK or Badger or something. Get some farm on these dudes before it's too late because the game is getting a little bit um, it's getting a little bit close to, to the end game already. So unfortunately, no shots of Mr. Badger who is just going to broadside my allies and die essentially. And I guess the heavies are the only options left for farm. There's the VK. Badger is just going to got a bonker 62 there, but I think he's going to die fast in the 62A. He gets absolutely hammered. Oh man, these teams are dying quickly. I got a yellow for damage though. For yellow, we might be able to pull it off, boys. Let's go for the yellow. YOLO run for damage. Let's go. 3, 2, 1. Excuse me. 62 way. I want to pull forward. Let's see how quickly we can make this dude go bye-bye. So, one shell to this dude. I think because we are going to farm damage. Let's put another shell to the IS-4 here. Let's put another shell to Mr. IS-4 here. And... Oh, gosh, dude. 7-0 sweep. It was so fast. I couldn't farm anything. I guess GG to my team. I was a little too passive there, but it's kind of hit or miss. Like, teams are passive. Teams are aggressive. I like to be careful. Once you feel the first shot, you know, <laughs> you know you're screwed. Yeah, essentially. Four shots, 400 alpha, 20 second reload. 410 alpha, actually. It's pretty it's pretty solid. Not the highest damage there, but I will take it. This 3k and a dub. Win rate is 53%. Average is about 38 to 50. So, win rate's a little bit down there, but we're doing good in the damage department. So, I, I think that's not too bad. Oh, the stream beat shows up on the bottom right. Yes, it tells you whatever song is currently playing for like 10, 15 seconds. Pretty cool. What up from Spain, Fatness? Hey, how's it going? All right. Mm, another map I'm not a huge fan of. They have a lot of heavies. They have a patent. We don't have any meds, though. Nice meme. We have zero meds. Okay, I guess we're going to have to go park here. I don't really want to go park, but I think going to the bridges is probably a really bad idea for 4005. So, yeah. Let's see if we can maybe go entrance or park. You know, maybe I won't full commit to the park. I'll take my tank to this weird spotting position and see if I can clip any of their tanks going park. Yeah, that, that might be a bigger brain idea. Um, we'll be a little passive here for a second. Let's see if anyone pushes through B. Now, they do have tanks in A cap already. And if I don't spot anyone crossing through B, now they do have someone in B. Now, one thing you have to watch out for, now I've positioned myself where I can back up straight and hopefully die behind that building, is if someone pulls up on this right alley, that could be very problematic for me. But let's see. What, what heavy tank spot on the flank right now? It is the VK-72. So, whoever is at B might just pull back from B cap, in which case we can maybe retake B. I'm gonna be a little bit careful. It is an M6 yo. Let's pop that ready cow. One shell to this yo here. Pop a second shell to Mr. Yo here. Now he has a mega interclip. We're gonna take 900, but we do manage to deal a ton of damage to his tank there. So, you know, you bring him down to 800 HP, he brings us down to 800 HP. He rolled over... Goodness, he rolled over a thousand for those two shots. Talk about a very high roll magazine for that yo. That's why I was like, okay, I was expecting to have a thousand HP after that, but no, no, no. We're at 800. Yo should go down fast. Um, our upper, up, our team up top is maybe not doing so healthy. I don't, I don't think I can do much here. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this map for the 4005, to be perfectly honest with you guys. I feel like you just get crossfired out a little bit too easy, no matter where you are. Oh, 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 maybe this VK gets distracted and pulls forward, though. Come on, VK, you can pull forward, right? Here's our opportunity. All right, one shot to Mr. VK72 here. Aim for the track shot, two shots of the VK. We tracked him once, we tracked him a third time. We hit him in the lower plate, very nice. Absolutely hammering that VK72. And just like that, we have nearly 3,000 damage dealt. So not too shabby. I'm gonna be getting a little bit more passive here, just so I don't get counter yield. I'm a little concerned about what the patent might do, but I need to continue trying to support our VK90 for the time being. My allies should be able to win that spawn, no problem. And I think maybe, Maybe the best play. Hopefully, the VK doesn't spot me up here. Our VK should be fine here. 
Okay, I can't do much about the patent right now. If this patent overextends, we might be able to dump a magazine into him. For now, I think being passive really is the best play I can do. We'll wait for our VK to hopefully spot someone up making a misplay. And then after that, after that, we should be chilling. All right, here's Patton. He's pulling forward. He's pulling forward. This is kind of what I was hoping he would do. Let's try and stay unspotted for the time being. He's still pulling forward here. Already, already. Now I can pull on into the inside here. And Mr. Patton is about to get wrecked. So one track shot into Mr. Patton. I'm going to keep going for track shots here, maybe. Two shots into the Patton here. Use a reload boost consumable. Another track shot into Mr. Patton here. Another. No, what do I. Dude, no, he's going to kill me now. Where did that shot go? It missed his drag completely. No. VK. <laughs> what? That's that's ridiculous. I should have been his flat side right in the drive field. The shot just does nothing. That Patton should have died there. I mean, we played it okay. I'm a, I'm a little surprised somehow. Our VK-72, our M5 Yo, and our T-30 lost that engagement versus the 183, the Emil and IS-8. I'm a little surprised by that. Unfortunately, this one's going to be a loss, so we're going to be stuck back at 50% win rate. Great. I just can't win in this tank tonight. I usually don't have an issue winning like around 70% of this vehicle, but uh, the teams today have just been a little bit inconsistent. But we did all right. We did all right. I see how you managed the DL-1600 damage 5, 5.7 seconds, and I really feel bad for the 50B. Right, dude? Vinicrud, I 100% agree with you. Definitely. Good to be four shots pretty useless as an intercalate to so down. Michelle is too long. Yeah, that's like the one issue I have with the 50B. Yo, could this VK clutch up here? Oh, he's versus a full health 183. Never mind. He's dead. <gasps> 183 throwing? 183 throwing? Come on, come on. Use the white three as a meat shield and kill the IS-8. Oh, but the Emil is going to flank him, isn't he? Oh, the Emil has too many hit points. It was a good try. It was a good try. The VK tried his best. I, I kind of wish he'd been more aggressive on the patent, though, right off the bat. But uh, a little unfortunate, man. That one shell not penning the patent. We probably could have won that game, by the way. If that one shell had penned the patent. How the patent is. Bro, it's a full side shot on the patent. Like, at point blank. There's no way that shot should have not penned. Oh, man. My team either did everything or nothing. So, VK does zero. Kranwagen does zero. Emil Yo does zero. T30 does two shots, and then, you know, our 183 and VK, they both did 3k apiece. So, oh, GG to those dudes, at least doing some damage. But still, when you have three top tier heavy tanks doing zero damage, it's so hard to win. It's so hard to win. Why is my 150% with like 3,900 average? I feel so, I feel so bad. I like this tank, but holy. I guess maybe the 405 is more suited for platooning. Almost 300 likes. Let's go. Good job, guys. HRF number one fangirl. Hey, what's up? What was your username before? I don't recognize it. <laughs> That's when you say thank you. <laughs> Just had 5k, 5 kill game in 45. Spicy, my dude. Spicy. All right. They have a concept M103, 50TP. Mm, I don't know. Uh, we're versus a 140, and they don't, they don't have a bunch of meds. I think we're going to snipe for the start of this game. Let's just be a little bit passive here. Get some sniping action in. Uh, once we figure out a little bit better where their team is gone, then we can use the tank a little more aggro. But I think, yeah, logically speaking, in the 405, it's much smarter to not just YOLO in like a complete Muppet and, and kill yourself. So I'm going to wait back for a second here. Although it looks like the enemy team are determined to push in behind us, which is, I mean, through the heavy side, which is okay, I guess. I can probably farm that out. Let's see, if this M103 makes a mistake and starts pulling forward, we will absolutely punish him. If he doesn't, they're all dropping down. Uh, they, they all drop down, essentially. Okay, well, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> 50 TP gets full health racked by the 60 TP. Okay, I'm gonna go help our 60 TP maybe. Ooh, 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 is that an E4? Is that an E4? Ready, Cal? Let's see. One shell to the E4 here. I don't think he can shoot me again. I'm still gonna move forward to try and help our 60 TP. Because he's, he's straight up just getting yellowed here. I wanna see if I can farm out this corner before it's too late. Alright. So, Concept 1B is getting ready to pull forward here. One more shell to Mr. Concept here. Two shots to the Mr. Concept here. Let's get ready to put a third shell to Mr. Concept. Nice. Bring him down to 500 HP. Oh, no. E4 is going to nuke me. No. What bad timing. I shouldn't have been nuked by the E4 there. And the 140 is going to hit me as well. Overexposed a little. Our M4 is really doing... Well, not really doing anything, which is a problem. And we have this wild hoe repulsing in. But the 140, M103, these dudes are... Uh, yeah, they're just straight up going to kill me. I think the one that's going to kill me is the hoe. Dang it. I should have pushed in. That was a mistake. I was way too aggressive there. Unfortunate. See, that my team should have a good chance of winning this one. I I thought the E4 was going to be distracted by our M4, but our M4 has just been so passive this whole time. He wasn't even keeping the E4 down there, so that was like my bad. 
But uh, in terms of damage, I guess we did like 1500. At least we're getting the dub. At least we're getting the dub, but honestly, probably should have just pulled back into the enemy spawn if I wanted the the damage there. Now, this dude should be able to win this. I mean, just HE the concept. He got this, my dude. Oh, concept ram killed himself. 140 is being way too aggressive. He'll probably get nuked soon. And the ST1's doing okay versus stock ST1. Yeah, we got, we got the dub. At least we got the dub. Dang. I didn't get any farm though. Negative elixir trade. Interesting play. Yes, shock. I agree. Well, here's the thing. I didn't think the E4 was going to pull pull back and shoot me because I, I thought the M4 was going to keep him down. So that was my bad. If the, if the uh, E4 hadn't been able to shoot me there, I would have been fine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, unfortunately, I, I, took a, I took a beating from the E4. We should win the game though, which is good. We'll just wait for this game to end and then we'll jump back into it. So 16 games. We'll be back at 52%. We're in the 40 of five. Yay. HRF, hey, what do you uh, think about the new way to play tournaments? Are you watching it too? New way to play tournaments? I guess I will have to watch. So, I will watch it, yes. I will be playing though. And my esports days are long gone. TVP is great with that, <laughs> with its intercut. All right. Well, 1600. Yikers on the damage scale. That dropped me to below 3800. Very big satch. I still did better than our M4 somehow. Um, Mr. M4, if you just got the E4 down and been a little more accurate there, we would have been chilling. Nathan, good to see you. How's it going? I don't know why it blocks it. I, I need to make sure I take fatness out of the blocked words on YouTube because the auto-censoring on the trap, for some reason, like, re retains every time someone says fatness. <laughs> Started me doing zero damage. Nice. <laughs> Among Us gameplay. When? Among Us. You are watching the Among Us gameplay. This is the Among Us gameplay. Me playing right now is very Among Us. Okay. Let's think about the options we have here. They have a 4202. As for medium lights, we have a... No. I was I was brushing my hair out of my face, and when I put my hand back down, I tapped my reticle calibration. Very nice thing. We have a 200 LT, who should be able to outspot the 4202 very easily here. I think I'm going to go into the mid. I don't really like committing into the town anymore. I just, you know, I just find that position to be rather unpleasant. Enemy team is sending tanks on to B. And I think me and this other 405 are just going to work together over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is that the 4202? It is. All right. Let's get ready to pull behind this dude. Let's get ready to defend B cap and just dunk on whoever's in B. I think that might be an interesting play. Now, I should be careful. I have another 405 with me, which is the good news. But I should be careful in case they just all turn back to dunk on me. Right? That's a very high plausibility. Enemy 405 is around the corner. Let's pop that reticle cal- Let's pop that reload boost consumable. One quick shell into this dude. He's gonna pull forward. Two quick shells into this dude. We track him in the open. Three shots into this dude. We're gonna track him again. Dude, 405, kill him. 405, kill him. S someone- Nice, thank you. I don't know why our 405 took so long to push through, but at least he does get taken down in the end. Now, we did a nice, massive magazine to that enemy 405. Very good. Happy with that. Enemy 405 is probably gonna be reloading very shortly here. And I should hopefully have shots in the back of this maybe 2 and 5 beer concept. Let's see. 2 and 5 B is going to be AP shell. No! We might have messed up. I didn't know the V4 was looking. That was such an idiot play by me. I got way too aggressive. I didn't think the V4 was just sitting there. And he hits me for 770 or something like that. What a high roll by the V4. Which gave the 2 and 5 B just enough alpha to kill me there. Dang it. That was actually a bit of a misplay by me. For some reason, I didn't even notice him. I was trying to kill the 2 and 5 B there and... Yeah, I guess good shot by the V4, but man, that massive high roll kind of screwed over my game there. Ay, ay, ay. It, it would have been better. I, I don't know why our 405 went so long, because that 405 on the enemy team shouldn't have been able to put more than one shell into me. But he managed to get three shots into me there as well, which brought down my hit points so much more than it had to be. If you just pushed them as PC with me together, we would have instant killed that dude. As far as damage, another 2k game. We are going to win it. Dude, I swear, every time, like, we're losing games, I am... Actually, it's not 100% guaranteed to win, but this T100 should be able to deal with the concept pretty easily. You, you have him on reload, buddy. He has a 7.5 7 second or so. 8 second reload. Nice. You got this. Um, oh, actually, no. Their 4202 is going to clean up the game. Ay, ay, ay. That was, that was a bit of a misplay by me. Ugh. If only that V4 wasn't there, we would have been fine. We would have been perfectly fine. I would have killed the 2 and 5B, put some shots on the concept, pulled back. I got a little over-aggressive. Getting tired, clearly. I mean, dude, I've been streaming so much lately. I am, yeah, definitely a little bit brain dead right now. 2k damage Dell. I, I did okay. I mean, I still did top three on the team. Somehow, our M6O and our M4 both did bottom damage. Nice heavy tank players. But, um, yeah. Blitz stamina transfer to anime and drawings. I agree. Drawings is a much more relaxing pastime. <laughs> Uh, 
you're dying an awful lot. Yeah, it's because I'm being quite aggressive. Like I said, if if you just wanna if you just wanna snipe all game and you're in your 405, by all means go for it. My playstyle personally doesn't suit sniping 90% of the time. There are certain maps like like Castilla where sniping is generally speaking a decent idea, but I like to play it aggressive. I like to play I like to play the 405 pretty aggressive. And let's be honest, that last team was not so good. The team for, before that was also pretty bad. Some of the times me being overly aggressive is what's getting me killed, but uh, most of the time it just kind of comes down to whether your team is good enough to hold or not. All right, but okay, we have a Fosh 155 here. Well, let's try and track him in the open. One track shot, two track shot, three track shot. My, dude, my screen's not moving. It wasn't aiming up. What was that? No, I should have had the kill with that Fosh. Fosh gets absolutely nuked there. I don't know if the Sheridan spotted me up, but I should be passive in case he did. Nice stuff. So there we go. That's where that 405 gun is just juiced. Unfortunately, our Leopard 1 is being very, very uh, not super, I guess, not super smart with what he's doing. He is absolutely not keeping the Sheridan down. Now, we know the Sheridan's up there. I don't want to get shot by the Sheridan, but the 60 TP overextends. I definitely want to be able to put a magazine into him. So let's see what the 60 TP does here. If he pulls in, which is the smart play, I won't be able to shoot him. Okay, there's the Sheridan. Sheridan no longer has a crossfire on me, which is cool. Um, 60 TP is really in the open right now. Might be able to take advantage of the 60 TP's just ridiculously aggressive play here. Ah, but the Sheridan. Sheridan and 4202 are the problem. See, if I get spotted here, I'm getting nuked. All right, let's, well, let's just start farming these dudes out. No, the first shot goes to Narnia. Second shot goes in. After I get this magazine out, I'm definitely gonna have to pull back here. And let's put another shell to this dude. Very nice, we're gonna have to pull back, get out of crossfire. I'm sure I got spotted up there very quickly. Nice, we are safe. Our grill's in the river. Enemies heavies are just being ridiculously aggressive. We should be good to win as long as the, uh, as long as they keep like bleeding out so many hit points. Unfortunately, I can't really do much about taking the hill here. With Mr. 4202, no, he dropped down. What a waste of my time. I didn't think he was going to drop down. No, I am a Pepega. A very Pepega player. Okay. Sheridan dropped down, though. Well, this might be interesting. Okay. While the Sheridan is down low, unfortunately, I lose my Interclub reload buff. But Mr. Sheridan over here, riding me with one quick shell into his tank. Let's we'll load up a second quick shell into his tank here. Let's load up maybe a third quick shell into his tank. Very nice indeed. And a fourth shell. Boom. Now, I am a little bit too aggressive here. I'm going to get farmed up by the Sheridan a little bit. He has to shoot me like three times to guarantee a kill here. So I'm just going to try and gun block him so he can't HE me. Very nice. Um, and now I should have him on, roughly have him on reload here. So I'm just going to keep holding this corner. I'm going to act like I'm backing up, like I don't have a reload on him just yet. Now, the 4202 is still in the vicinity, which is the problem. So I got to be very careful here. Hee <laughs> hee. I guess, I guess we're playing a game of, uh, a game of wait and see what happens. He's gonna try and bait me with his engine deck, which is probably a pretty smart play here. Let me see if I can just act like I'm pulling back a little bit. Okay. So hopefully. Dead. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Whew. That is where that intercrip reload buff is insanely clutch. Now, fortunately, I don't have a ton of hit points left. Looks like the WZ is pretty close, and my controls are, are freezing up on me. I can't even move my tank here, so uh, I'm kind of stuck. I've got it stuck. I'm trying to wipe my screen, make sure it's clean. Already, already, already. You could still potentially win this. Someone just blind fired for me. Not sure who or where, but someone did try to blind fire me just now, so they are, they are pretty close. They are pretty close. This bush should provide me a little camo. I think what I'm gonna do here is if they flank me, they flank me, but I don't know which way they're gonna come from. So I'm gonna pre in this corner here for the time being. If they get super close, I should be able to proxy them and I should have the traverse to deal with them. So let's just sit here and wait to see if the E6 or something like that overextends. E6 overextends, boom. Oh no, 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 where, where did that shot go? Dang, all right, we pick up a kill on him. We do manage to pick up a kill on the E6. Unfortunately, that first one does ricochet there. Let's fix a turret ring. I only need one shot for the WZ, maybe. WZ's flanking behind me, isn't he? I just heard something break around me. I don't know where the WZ's coming from, but I, I think he's coming in from behind. I think I heard something break near me. Let's see. Oh, 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 there's the WZ, there's the WZ. One HE shot. Nice! Woo! Clutching up! Clutch it up! 
Clutch trying to smoke fast, living, living the win. Oh man, that was a really close game. That was, dude, their heavies played so bizarre there, but I'll take it. 5,000 damage, only a first class. <laughs> what does it take? Okay, it probably takes like 1,600 AA XP to ace this thing. Oh yeah, GG to their E6. Man's farmed out 6K, dude. E6 is such a nutty tank right now. Finally, huh, after a streak of bad games, we have a game where we don't play like a complete Muppet. GG call up. <laughs> Potato, thank you. Kill shot always trolls, right? <laughs> Pissed off, screw right, GG's. Thank you for the grand. All right. <laughs> Sheesh, noise. <laughs> yes. Clap. Easy claps. Yes. 300 likes for the clap. Nice. Let's go. Thank you, guys. Alrighty. Pog. I agree. Very Pog. Alright. Um. Mm -hmm. They have a 140 E50 M. A couple meds. They have three TDs. Some, some heavies that are pretty mobile. They don't have a bunch of holding heavies, so I think what I will do here... Temporarily, let's just sit back and snipe because once again, I think this is the best play for the tank is don't overcommit right off the bat. Let's wait to see what their team does. And then once we find a flank, we can bonk. We, we bonk a flank. So, so far, no one spotted up on the crossing at least. Although I don't have the best view range, so I can't say for sure if that's a given. Looks like the 140 is enjoying his brand new armor profile. RIP to this man's. The Sheridan is doing a pretty decent job bopping the 140. I think... He's not spotted no one, but he's playing pretty passive. I don't want the 140 to spot me up, so I'm waiting for him to die. Nice. All right. E50M has to make a break for it soon. I'm going to get ready to pre-aim that break for it. Hopefully, we can just nuke E50M when my allies decide to YOLO him. So, allies are getting ready to YOLO him. Let's pop the consumables. Boom. One shot into the E50M. Boom. Two shots into the E50M. He's dead. What a waste of my consumable, I guess. But I'll reload the magazine now. We'll sit back for a second. I'm sure they have a bunch of TDs back there. What I would like to do is defend D. Instead of pushing into a bunch of, like, hold on tank destroyers. I mean, my allies might be able to pull it off. But I think if the 57, the gorilla, and me can go back to our spawn... Then we can just get ready to farm out that those heavy tanks that are probably pushing in through G as we speak. So, uh, allies are a little bit distracted here. There's the Chieftain. There's the E5. As predicted, they are just YOLOing straight in. I still have my reload boost consumable, however. And I'm going to wait for this Chieftain to give me some clean HE shots on the rear of his tank. Essentially, this dude is about to just dis disappear. All right, one shell the Chieftain. Not sure where that HE went. Second shell, the HE goes in. This Chieftain is still full sending it. I think I'll just have to shoot the E5 here. One track shot into the E5 here. Second track shot into the E5. Our 57 gets nuked, and I, my allied support is nowhere to be found. We're about to get grilled in the rear. No! Dude, 57, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, this 57. This 57. This Papaga 57, why did you run away? We could have held together. Oh my gosh. Our grill was tunnel visioned. He didn't even turn around once, and our 57 just ran away instead of holding haul down here. Dang it! I go to make a play where I'm like, okay, I have teammates with me, we should be fine. And then the teammates just ditch, dip on me. Very nice, 57, dude. <laughs> I don't know why he ran away when they clearly just had a few heavies that were not really well supported pulling up in our spawn. Ay, ay, ay. Did not get any damage that game, unfortunately. Just, just simply because... I got essentially yelled by a 57, I mean, an E5 Chieftain and Grill, which was the right play for them. I, at that point, I didn't have any proper support. Nice. Our team should still win, though. Good news. At least we're getting some dubs. Our win rate should be up to 55 or so after this game. If we can get 60%, I'll be happy with that. If you have good position, sure, experienced players have, have a survival sixth sense that most of the time. Ah, got one of those white win rate players. <laughs> oh, man. Finish him off, Badger. I believe in you. Yo, Badger, you got more traverse. Oh, Bad Badger. Badger's just getting brained on by the grill. <laughs> you got this, fan. He bounced? Oh, the M60 farmed so much damage. I guess the GG to the M60 there. Man's just chilling. At least we got the dub in the end. At least we got the dub in the end. My 45 is a bullet magnet. Oh, well, dude, all 4005s are bullet magnets. Fast, what is the meaning behind your in game uh, IGL? Huh? I mean, 2.6k, it's high. I still did second best on the team. I really wish the 57 had just stayed back, dude. If me and the 57 had chilled, we double clip one of those heavies. Like, 1600 plus 1200. That whatever tank we decided to shoot together, insta dies. I just thought maybe he would he would realize that, you know, me and the girl both being there, we could, we could just hold that flank together, man. Unlucky. <laughs> don't trust your teammates too much. They, generally speaking, don't always notice what you notice. It's a good lesson to remember which I forget quite often. 
I had two of my shots blocked that game. Unlucky. Fanny, do you like the four shot on the 405 or prefer the three shot like on the 50B? I like the four shot on the 405. I think it's kind of memes. Also, speaking of which, I'm going to go town and just slam dunk people in town. You know, whichever heavy tank gets spotted in the open. It's supremacy, so I actually think going town AB is actually a logical play. They have a mouse of VK and IS-4. A lot of tanks are probably going to go town as well. So let's let's see if we can pull it off in the good old good old 405. I think I think we can slam dunk some people in town. Their team is probably going to split up a little bit. Although we want to be careful not to overextend here, um, in case you know. All right, 704 might be our first victim. One shot into Mr. 704. Two shots into Mr. 704. We might take one shot in return. Three shots into Mr. 704. Four shots into 704. Almost 1,700 damage. Now, we did lose just under half our HP, but we also brought him to 100 hit points. So, I suppose that wasn't too bad. Probably not the smartest trade, as far as trades are concerned. Yeah, probably should have not taken that shot. But, I want the damage. Yeah, so, cool. Even if I was in the 3 shot 405, I would have still taken that shot. So, I don't think it really matters too much. That 4 shot just gave me an extra opportunity to shoot him there before it was too late. E4 is dunking on our Jaeger rear. Our T30 has been quite aggressive as well. It looks like the mouse has just fired too. Let's put a quick shot to the mouse's lower plate. One shot to the mouse's lower plate. One shot towards his turret. Unfortunately, that one goes to Narnia. Two shots into his turret. Let's pull back before it can shoot me. Start reloading the magazine for our next shell here. And we'll get safe. So the E4 is still slam dunking our poor Jaeger rear. Armor buff not feeling so spicy, huh, buddy? And you know what? With 1750 hit points, we could very easily one clip out at T124. Now, I need to wait to see if these dudes get distracted, but if I can pull behind this E4, the max roll one of my shells at least, we are going to just bomb this dude. So our Yaga's, his Yaga's look like he's about to make a nice diversion here. Very cool. I'm gonna get ready to see if Mr. Mouse is here. Mr. Mouse is a bit distracted. E4 is going for the kill. I think if we can get the one clip on this E4, that'd be pretty pretty pogger. So let's go for one track shot. 360 is a bit of a low roll. Two track shot. Well, we're not gonna one clip him because unfortunately he got shot by someone else. We practically would have one clipped him though. We would have one clipped him if he wasn't shot by our conqueror there because I had the max roll. Not too bad. E4 gets absolutely annihilated. Oh, there's the VK72 almost getting bopped myself. It looks like the ice force is chilling up top here. We can't really do much about him. I want to see if he makes a play, because we're going to get that double cap soon. Who spotted me up? Okay, must be the tortoise. Uh, Mr. Tortoise spotted me up. Okay. Mr. Tortoise might be a bit of a problem here. Oh, I thought he just fired. So one shot to Mr. Tortoise here. The issue is the VK pulling in behind us. I don't know if he's looking at me or not. Let's see. He's not quite. One quick shot to Mr. VK here. Let's aim his second shot to his haul. Maybe not quite. I think I'm going to back up into safety now. We do have double caps, so the VK has to pressure eventually. So I can just pull back, reload the magazine, and we will wait for Mr. VK to maybe get a little over aggro going towards A. So the VK is being aggro once again. We have eight seconds left on the reload here. We can one clip the VK. And as long as I don't take any Pepega shots myself... Oh yeah, the VK is about to get just absolutely slam dunked on. Let's aim for a track shot. One track shot to the Mr. VK. Two track shots to the Mr. VK. Three track shots to the Mr. VK. VK's dead. I mean, look at that, man. This gun is just so filthy. You know? Against players like that? Like, that poor VK just gets permatrack. He can't run. Now, only concern is we're about to cap out. I really want more damage before this game is over. So let's see, the IS-4 is in the open here. Let's aim one shell into Mr. IS-4's side. Nice. Let's aim a second shell into IS-4. Nice. Let's aim a third shot into Mr. IS-4. Nice. Maybe we'll even get the max roll with his last shot. Nice. 7,500 damage dealt. If it wasn't Supremacy, we could have pulled 8,000 damage out this game. But I'll be happy with 7,500. I'm really disappointed at Supremacy because I 100% would have had over 8,000 damage. But a very nice farm game for the 4005. And that's where that four shot just feels so ridiculously dangerous. Finally acing it with 7,500 damage. And it, it was like no sweat. You just caught tanks off guard. That's why I think I prefer 4005 in the town environment. Because if you take it easy, <laughs> the VK gives me a thumb down. Someone's mad. Someone's mad. He got perma tracked. Let's give him the ducky emo. Um, but yeah, easy claps. There we go. Finally, back to 3,800 average in the 4005. Win rate's 57. It's slowly climbing. Fatness, hello. Hey, no skill. What's up? He cursed, but apologized. <laughs> 7k, almost 8k. Dude, it would have been 8k if it wasn't Supremacy. It would have been 8k if it wasn't Supremacy. That IS-4 had 900 HP. I could have had 8,400 damage that game. Easily. I'm a little disappointed by that. But, a very fun game. All the same. I, I really enjoyed that experience. Now, once again, here's an interesting thing. Maybe it's just me, but I've noticed a 
lackluster amount of mediums in tier 10 recently. Like, I've been getting games where easily one or two teams have no tier 10 meds, which after the update, I would have expected meds to be played a little more often, but it seems like most players are just resorting to tank destroyers and heavies because those tanks are still <laughs> still the best class in the game, let's be honest. Anyways, we're going to go towards the town because obviously without any meds, going med side might not be a very smart idea. Let's see if we can spot anyone on the crossing. Our chieftain's being very aggressive. So far, no one spotted up. And I think it, there's a pretty good chance. We get a little bit risky here climbing this hill like this, but I think there's a pretty decent chance that the most of their team is going to go C. Now, if my team get AB, we can pressure the enemy team with caps, which is, I'm perfectly fine with that. But, um... Let's see, if, let's see what gets spotted up first. If, if we can find out where their tanks are, who gets spotted up, when and where and why and how, uh, then maybe we can get some good farming. It all depends on who gets spotted up, where though. And hopefully we don't get spotted in return. Because, you know, if I get spotted, double 45 sperma track, we only have a single repair kit, say goodbye to my game. Well, that dude will definitely be able to spot me. One quick track shot there. And I do get spotted, so I'm gonna start backing down from this dune here. Very nice. This AMX-30 being a little aggressive. Our E3 looks like he took the shots from the 405s there. So unfortunately, that 30B is still going to be a problem. Let's wait for him to pull forward again, maybe. He's not pulling forward. I'm going to pull down for a second. So the 405s absolutely brained on our, our Blessum, our poor T110E3 there. The 30B is a problem because he's going to continue spotting us from there and have crossfires. So I'm going to I'm going to pull back a little farther. And we're just gonna have to be a little passive for now. Once the 30 bees out of that spawn, I think we can make a play. But for now, I feel like I really can't do much here. And the issue is if I shoot this IS-7 or something, I'm gonna get spotted. Is it worth it? I don't know. That's that's a big question. All right, 57. I don't think he'll be able to spot me. Let's put one shot to Mr. 57. Let's put two shots in the Mr. 57. Let's put three shots in the Mr. 57. I always put a four shot to Mr. 57. Dealing. I don't know. Who knows how much damage did that dude? I gotta pull down from here though before I get bonked by some TDs. Very nice. That was a lot of damage to that dude. 57 makes one small minor misplay and loses all of his hit points. Like, that is the current meta. Even I've done it multiple times so far this stream. I make one minor misplay and up. Oh, oh, hit points. Those are cool. I wish I knew what they were. That's essentially what happens. So, Chieftain Mark. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. One HE, 500 into him there. Second HE, 438. Third HE. Oh no, we hit the carcass of the tank there. Maybe one more HG onto this dude. And a fire. Oh man. Oh, the chieftain. Oh, bless that chieftain. This poor chieftain did not just get slam dunked. He just... 405 is trying to shoot at me and well, yeah, he has no hit points left. That chieftain did not just get slam dunked. He lost like 90% of his hit points there in a couple of seconds. Poor, poor soul. Um, RIP to my mans over here in the chieftain mark six. We have a wild 30B. Tracked him once, but he is dead to me. No, dang it, my code got stolen. I should have aimed that one in a little bit better. That was my bad. And it looks like Mr. 405 is gonna get dunked on by the M4. Not a bad game. RIP to that chieftain, though. Oh man, this this magazine can be so deadly. If only I penned that third HE shot, I would have had like 2,000 HE damage there. But the fire saved that game. Pulling out the 4K damage. Let's go. Are we finally 60 or 59% win rate? Let's go. Our win rate's getting up there, guys griefed. <laughs> it's like, I finally have my answer. I apologize because you're overseas, players. Right, I read you the sanctions so you can't donate. But anyways, let me play style and learn. Uh, a lot, bro. Best wishes. You know, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Glad I could be of assistance. Right, I'm watching on the side while I get some work done. Hey, yo, enjoy. Definitely focus on your work. Prioritize what's important. Fanis, have you ever been to Vegas? I have indeed. Hey fans, I, I recently found out that the audio recorder at the garage is an easter egg. Touch it, touch at it. Yeah, I believe I heard something along those lines. I, I don't know what what the audio recorder does though. I think, is that the one that plays the music? Because I, I remember just like slam tapping everything in my garage. Eventually getting some good, good old uh, damage out. I'm going to be a little aggressive here. Now if we can permatrack one of the heavies pushing in hopefully towards C, we can just absolutely annihilate one of these dudes. So I'm gonna wait here for just a second. I'm gonna wait for an opportunity to permatrack someone. Now, they could have a lot of TDs around the corner. Yes, but, you know, who knows what will happen if we can kind of just maybe pull forward a little bit. There's that 183. Unfortunately, I don't wanna get spotted up yet, so let's be a little more passive here. He wanted to pulling back ever so slightly. I don't believe I have track shots on the 183, so I don't know if it's worth poking him just yet. Let's see what our, let's see what our M4 does. 
M4 hits a nice shell into the 183 there. He does get slam dunked in return. Oh, 183's tracked. Another track shot into him. He gets taken down. Easy clap. So let's put a quick kill shot on the 100. He goes down. Very nice. If we turn our attention over towards the middle of the map, we can see there's a 57. But oh no, the enemy 4005 is totally just sitting back waiting for me. He does put a couple of shells into me. But look at this 4005. What was he thinking? Instead of running to a safe position, he instead stays there to try and shoot me. And now he's dead. Yeah, you should have you should have done that 405. You should have ran out knowing you had already lost the spawn. I think this this game is going to be pretty bad in the damage department. Man, that 405 just took so many of my hit points out there, out of this game in a few seconds. But in terms of caps, in terms of positioning and damage, my allies should have a pretty a pretty solid opportunity to win this game. All right, we are safe from the 57 heavy, safe from the Patton. 57 right back right into me here. So let's get ready. One shell to the 57. Gun derps on me a little bit there. Oh my gosh. This nuke meta is so kind of yikes, man. This game, I'm getting no damage at all. Oh dear. Let's see what this M4 does. Chieftain gonna pull forward. One shell to you. He's dead. Patton might kill me here. The Patton might kill me here. I don't want to die to the Patton, but if I can put a shell to Mr. Patton, that might be helpful. Come on, Mr. Patton. Give me a shot. One shell to his side. 1600 damage. That game was like 7 1 in a minute and 10 seconds. That game was way too fast for me to farm. I wanted to farm town, but their team played that really well. I mean, my team played that really well in terms of clearing town. And the issue is like, every tank just gets nuked. Like, my whole team, our lowest damage player, still did better than their bottom four, essentially. So, my team was just like a firing squad that battle, which, yeah, ended very quickly for the enemy team. But. We are 61% win rate. We still have about 3,800 average, so we're doing okay. Finally got our win rate to an okay spectrum. Fanis is the next Bushka. <laughs> Wasn't the 45 already amazing? I imagine it's stupid broken right now. Uh, I wouldn't say, okay, maybe a little busted, but I wouldn't say it's stupid broken because it's still it's still balanced out in, in, in a lot of other aspects. Autoloader meta. Yeah, dude, autoloader meta is just insane. Here's what's going to happen. I don't like sitting back. I usually would go mid, but they have a, a 50B, a Concept, a Kron, a 5A, E3. They have so many tanks that if they wanted to yell the outside and nuke me, they totally could. I think what I'll do for the start of this game is I'll be ready to, to run away from spawn. If we don't spawn anyone in C, I'm running away from here. But if they're all going to potentially push the outside... All right, there's the Progetto. There's the E3. E3 probably has heavy tank support. There's the Concept, as, as anticipated. Cool. So we are going to use this bush as some degree of camouflage here. The moment this concept messes up and starts backing up, we are just one clipping him. So hopefully my allies can get a little aggressive on this dude in just a second here. Maybe he's going to get a little aggressive on me. One shell to the concept, two shots into the concept, three shots into the concept, a track shot, and a four shot into the concept. Almost 1,800 damage dealt. Welcome to the nuke autoloader meta. Full HP concept 1B dies in about 15 and about 10 seconds in 10 seconds from the moment he took his first his first shot of damage maybe not even 10 that is the new meta we are welcome with the concepts and everything okay grill doesn't have good dpm anymore two shots into the grill and the grill's dead welcome to the nuke meta ladies and gentlemen <laughs> just prepare yourself to nuke someone catch them off guard and they lose two tanks instantly Nothing these Pepega piggies could do. I mean, of course, they could be more passive, but how are they going to know they're just going to get outright just bonkers nuked all of a sudden there? 5A, he's a goner. There's only three tanks left on the enemy team, and it's been about a minute and 50 seconds. Nice meme, dude. I guess I got to yell for damage here, but it's it's not going to be the highest farm game. That poor concept, though. That poor, poor concept. Really just like... Oh, man. I'm pretty happy I decided to sit back and snipe there, but the only issue is now it's taking forever for me to get in and farm damage. Unless I can full HP clip the Kron, maybe with HE in the rear. Uh, the Kron's gonna get fined up on the 57 though, and the E3 as well. Yeah, this game's pretty over in terms of farm damage. It was a good game all the same, but it's over. I might get maximum one shot here, but dude, this Kron's about to get brained on by everyone. All right, all right, all right. Please don't all block me. Please don't all block me. Please don't push them back. <laughs> main damage, main damage, my damage. No! Dude, this nuke meta, oh, how is one supposed to farm? Like, I just did a typical TD thing. Now, mind you, it was worth it to nuke that E6 for 2, 000, uh, almost 2,000 damage there. Um, and I still did 32, which is cool, I guess. Not, not about the dude, man, that game was over so fast. This new meta, 
I knew it was just going to be wonky nukes, but yeah, it is 100% a nuke meta. 63% win rate though. Yay, our win rate's increasing. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> yes, it forces you to play painfully passive. Sometimes. I mean, okay, to be fair, most of the times they've had bad games in the 405 was when I was being a little too aggressive. Um... So that that probably you're probably right. I probably was playing it a little too too aggressive earlier, and now that I'm playing it a little bit more passively, we're still getting good games. But you even saw on like the Middleburg game where I got seven and a half thousand damage. I wasn't like sitting in the back sniping the whole time, but maybe not yoloing into their whole team the whole time is a little bit more of an intellectual idea when you're playing this tank. Um, ooh, enemy 4005. Is he too tall? I think he's too tall. I think he's too tall. Yep. With reticle calibration, I can easily nick this dude. One shot. Two shot there, put three shots, he's dead. I'm telling you, man, you gotta be careful in your 405s. It's so tall. Now that dude got one shot into me, but he already accepted his death at that point. I think he realized he messed up big time. So RIP to that enemy 405, dying about 40 seconds into the, maybe even 30 seconds into the game there. And so enjoy your, your new auto loader metas, my dudes. There's a wild mouse spot in the open. Let's put one shot to his lower plate. Let's pull back from him for just a second here. You know what? We might take a shot from Mr. Mousy Poo, but we'll hit a second shot to him. Let's aim for that drive wheel. Boom, another shot to Mr. Mousy Poo. And another shot to the drive wheel. 2,900 damage dealt with two magazines, essentially. And what did the mouse do? The mouse pulled forward to a typical, like, Mousy Poo position. But then a, a, a Pepega, 4005, just pops up, permatrox him in the open, and does, like, 1600 damage to him. What like what on earth could that poor mouse do now? This this chieftain here is getting way too aggressive on me one shot and two shots He's dead Pop the considerables here for this 54 one shot two shots. He's dead Welcome to world of nuke meta. It's been it's been a minute and 50 seconds I am probably gonna die to this hero. Maybe oh no, I'm safe for now. I'm safe. Let's get safe um, It's been like a minute and 50 seconds enemy team already down Like every tank you can imagine possible all right, he fired twice. He has one more shot on the mag. He's gonna go for the mouse here. All right, okay. He missed, he missed, but we hit his drive wheel. Let's hit another one onto his drive wheel. 4,800 damage dealt here. We hit another one onto him. A nice ricochet pen there, and one more shot. <laughs> the game was two minutes and 20 seconds. Two minutes and 15 seconds. And two minutes and 15 seconds with this tank just putting in the right situation. We farmed 5,700 damage. <laughs> And if we look at how much damage we did to each tank, Mouse took 1,680, the Chief only took 700, the, the, uh, the 4005 took 1,100, and then the Yo took 1,640. Bruh. <laughs> I have to go, but thanks for the stream. Good luck for the rest with the teams and 4K target. Thank you very much, Shrock. You have a great, uh, great, uh, I guess, rest of your day. I'll probably talk to you later. Take care, buddy. One killing people is so dumb. Was this auto loader meta intentional? I think so, man. Dude, it's nuke meta. This is like, ugh. You get caught out slightly. You're getting nuked so hard. Finally having some fun games in the 4005 again. It kind of comes in streaks. But I mean, that's the 4005 in a nutshell. It's a bit of a hit, of, it's a bit of a hit or miss tank. You have good games, you have bad games. Kind of accept that when you play this vehicle, but then you average, uh, average out. We're still doing about 3,800. Usually I can 4k the 4005 at least back in the day But I'm just gonna say that me playing bad for a couple of games And of course just some of the really weird kind of situations we've been thrown into might be why I haven't been able to consistently farm as well today But let's see mm -hmm. All right, so you still got some dude spotted up the 4005s the Fosh and our 50 bs dead because he's just sitting rear on to those dudes Our 50 bs on 70 hit points already very nice 50 B Oh, all right. Yep. Someone's clearly enjoying the new auto loader meta and our ISA is being ridiculously aggressive, but he'll be a good spotting for me. He'll do, he'll be good for spotting. Waffenträger gets spotted. One shell into him. We tracked him. Maybe two shots. No, he pulls back into safety. Smart play, but a waffle there. Fosh is being a little aggro as well. Uh, 907 is behind us. Maybe the waffle will pull forward one more time. Let's take another blind shot. Not quite. I think what I'm going to do here is reload and then we're going to get ready to pull out because the 907 is probably gonna start shooting us from behind soon. This tank's a little bit too thick to sit here, so let's make a break for it. There's that 907, okay, well, we are temporarily safe from the Waffenträger, all these dudes, very nice. I think the 907 is within one clip range easily because he yielded into a TDP. I mean, that 907 lost 1100 HP there. Good goodness, like, poor Maz didn't even necessarily make that poor of a play here. 
Right. All right, here's a Fosh. Oh, the first shot unfortunately goes to Narnia. Second shot goes in. Fosh is just YOLOing super aggressively here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bait this Fosh. Make him think I'm reloading soon. Put a quick snapshot to his hatch just in case. Now, as long as I don't low roll my next shell here. Hmm. Fast shot the on is going to be a problem here. Let's see if we can maybe track him in place to prevent him from YOLOing our WZ as hardcore. Very cool. Fosh is still a problem, but the IS-8 is being a little bit of a bait. But no, the Yo's going to start shooting at me now. Dang, our heavies are still losing that side. How? I'm just curious how our heavies are still throwing. Darn it. Well, this is bad. Because I'm crossfired out from those heavies there. Alrighty. Well, I guess this is game over for me. Not really much I can do here either. Alrighty. Alright, just got some 9-7 off guard. Boom. It's about that ready calibration. There's the Foshy Boo. Boom. He, he fluffs his shot. APCR. Boom. Enemy 405 is coming in, but the Bat Chat's going to kill me. He probably has, like, enough damage, enough alpha to kill me here. Let's put an HG into his side, 480, and we'll pull back from their 405. That dude only had one shot in the magazine, but issue is their 405 is just going to yellow into me. And their bat chat's definitely going to out-reload me here, so... It was a good try. It was definitely a good try, but... I don't know if it was good enough, boys. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Come on, 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 come on. Let me out-reload, let me out-reload. Yes! We out-reloaded. Okay, okay. Reload boost consumable coming in clutch there. Another out reload. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you that reload boost consumable is so clutch. I was able to beat the 405 on intra clip even though he shot me first. <gasps> I don't know where the waffle is. I'm gonna act like I'm just gonna keep hiding for now. Okay, the waffle is probably was sniping in their spawn. He probably is coming to kill me, right? That would be the logical play here. Oh, man. Whew. That game looked really messed up, but we somehow clutched up. Hey, <laughs> that rhymed. Okay. Um, Waffle might still be in their spawn. I'm still going to take it a little bit easy, but we do have 800 cap points and a mouse that's on like 2,400 hit points. If our mouse seriously dies to this dude... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, no. There's the Waffle. There's the Waffle. Come on, Waffle. Pull in on me. Okay, I see what the Waffle's trying to accomplish here. He already wasted his ready cal, though. So here's what we're going to do. Now, we might not be able to out... Now, here's the thing. The 405 is so tall, we probably won't even be able to outplay this dude. I'm just going to go for a little bit of last minute, last minute 4k damage farm. All right. Here's the Waffle. One HE into him. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Another AP into him. Nice. Maybe another AP into him. Reticle Calibration doing a charm here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Radical calibration plus reload consumable. God, this thing is so fun. I'm actually having some good dubs right now. Like, some really close games. 5.2k damage. That was a deserving ace if I've ever seen one. Having to hold off and spawn there and, and just big braiding on all these dudes. 1600 base XP, 5 kills. Ah, very good. That average brings me up to almost 3,965%. Hey, 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 best game today. Yeah, that was pretty good. I think we had one other game that was super clutch. I don't remember when we played it, but we did have another game that was super clutch earlier as well. Uh, that one was really fun too. <laughs> All right. Nice. Yes. <laughs> logical when our Blitz player is logical. Uh, not very often. Almost 400 likes. Let's go, my dudes. Make it happen. All right. Double yeah, double Jags. TVP 50M. We have a Leopard 1-2 on Sheridan. I'm going flank. There is absolutely no way. I'm going to deal with double Yags, an M4 MLE, a Mouse, and a WZ113 GFT. Uh-uh. I'm going to go support our meds. We have med, uh, uh, we have a med overmatch, essentially, and I'm just going to try and destroy this flank and hope our heavies stay alive long enough. How did he not have a shot? The Waffenträger was probably just waiting to try and get a full shot on my turret. I don't think he realized he was going to die quite so quickly there, which was uh, RIP to our mans. You know, obviously he got hardcore dunked on. Looks like the enemy heavies might be getting a wee bit aggressive through here. I kind of predicted this. So let's set ourselves up in a position. This is going to be a very aggressive early play, but we might be able to get some nice early damage out of this. Let's see. All right. M4 sitting back for just a minute here. Here's the WZTD. Put one shell into the WZTD. Two shots into... Um, oh, okay. That works. Um, so we, we Amorak that fool. RIP to the WZTD. He gets double tapped there. Very good start to the game. Our 50B is getting hammered. I think what we should do here is clearly 50M and TVP. These dudes are isolated. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's just farm these poor Pepegas out. Okay. TVP can't spot me up anymore. And, uh, damage is still being very, 
very luscious to damage farm is still here. All right, mouse side of the turret, boom, 390 there. Still up an APCR shell, boom, 350. Let's set up another APCR shell, boom, 350. And let's max from the axolar plate here, 489. We've already dealt 40, we've already dealt 3,500 damage. And it is 4-0. Nice, close, calculated gameplay. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I have to YOLO if I want the 4K here. Really, that's my only option. Okay, the Yag's gonna pull back into safety, probably. Oh no, let's, let's get it, let's get it. One shot to the Yeager room. Very nice here. Um, do you mind not blocking me, whoever you put back at Big Yard? Thank you, one, two, one. And, nope, 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 nope. Back up just a little bit. Well, we got our 4K out. Game was a minute and 50 seconds, essentially. Because that's when, like, the last tank died. It was a minute and 55 seconds or so. Close game, guys. Um, I thought their team was gonna do really good on the bridge. But then, yeah. Then, um... Then the WZ113 GFT got double shot racked, so... <laughs> Every game fat is touches gold. I'm having a good streak, which is good. I, I'm happy I'm finally having a good streak in, in, the, in the M4 here. Because <laughs> I had some pretty Pepega games as well. What gets me every time is the pause when something epic happens. Well, my brain needs a couple of seconds to process what just happened. Like, I I, I was, ex I thought that, okay, I saw the WZ die and I thought he got double tapped, right? Like, double tapped by one of me and one of the other TDs. So I'm like, okay, WZ's dead. And then I realized there was like 1900 damage all in the orange color. I was like, wait, did I double tap him? And I was like, did I shoot him three times? I was like, no, of course not. <laughs> I, I racked him. The issue was I didn't see the ammo rack notification. That's what confused me, right? You didn't get the orange, the uh, the red ammo rack ribbon. So I was I was a little bit lost there for a second as to what happened. Anyways, we're going to be playing pretty aggressive entrance of town here. You don't really like going A from this spawn and well, it usually just kind of sucks. Oh no. Okay. Uh, we, we, we take that back boys. Um, let's get unspotted and run out of here. No, 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 don't shoot me. Good, 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 good. Wait, wait, maybe this dude will give me some shots here. I don't care. I'm getting out of here. I really don't like this position at all. I think I'm gonna get nuked if I stay here. So, let's pull to a safer position while we can. It looks like my team actually might have a decent chance of, of holding A to some extent. So, I'm gonna push myself into a position where maybe I can start crossfiring out people, you know, like the Sheridan. Uh, if we can pick up a kill the Sheridan, that's gonna be really good for me and my allies. Although the Sheridan just pulled into a safe position, so now I can't really do much to him, unfortunately. And uh, who knows what his allies are going to be doing as well. Sheridan's probably perma spotting me here. Mm, I wanted to help our flank. Come to think of it, I should probably just rat on the heavies. Okay, 91. Oh my goodness, I'm losing one hit point. There has to be an algorithm for it. I've been pretty useless for the first half of this game. Sadly. I don't think there's anyone here, right? I'm still being pretty useless this game, aren't I? Okay. Okay, this dude got a little over aggressive here. Let's use a reticle calibration. One shell into him. Very nice. Two shots into him. Very nice as well. Maybe an APCR into the roof of his turret here. Oh, he just escapes. What's behind me? Okay, a couple tanks behind. It looks like, logically speaking, we should pull behind this pillar here. Get out of a crossfire with maybe the 60 TP type, whatever else can be coming this way. I don't want to get crossfired out just yet. So let's pull back. The C75 is gonna is pretty much just gonna block me here, so I'm gonna be the one taking the shots. But at least we can put one shell into this dude. C75, please don't continue blocking me. Thank you. Nice. Pick up a kill there. And now I can reload and start going for the 60 TP. So this game was a little weird. I wasn't 100% sure where I wanted the position of this tank to farm damage, but I think it's better to be passive like what I was doing here and wait for an opportunity to just slam dunk on someone than to just YOLO into the open and insta die. So put one shell to this dude. Very nice. I think at this point we can get ready to start YOLOing the 60 TP. The 4005 Waffle Sheridan. All these dudes are all around the map, you know everywhere in Narnia, who knows where. All right, 60 TP, one track shot. We have another track shot and he's dead to a fire. Insta tracks, man, insta tracks. You hate to see it, you love to do it. Okay, so let's sit back for a sec. I have radical calibration back, which is nice. I think, hmm. So the issue is the Sheridan has insane view range. He's gonna outspot every single one of us if he, if he wants to, right? I think, I gotta keep some distance. Judging by the fact that everyone was spotted here, the Sheridan's nearby. He has to be. Now the 4005 done messed up big time, and he's already toasted. Uh, I don't know where the Sheridan or the Waffenträger are gonna push in from. Odds are, I would expect them to be holding A, or possibly going towards D. 
But I think at this point, there's the Sheridan. One quick shell into the Sheridan there. Very nice, I guess. At least we got a quick shell into him. Uh, he's gonna keep tapping C possibly here. See, that V-Range on the Sheridan is very difficult to deal with, though. Like, we weren't able to outspot him there. He, like, he outspotted us easily from back there. All right. Well, I know, the, I know the Waffle doesn't have a ton of hit points. So, yeah, he's already gonna die very fast there. We still got okay damage out this game. It wasn't super high, but once again, I'm just taking the dubs right now. Because after that first streak of losses, I will happily take any wins we can get. Waffenträger is trying to make a break for it. Bless him. E75 is like, I got you a sped boost, brother. Waffle is still trying to make a break for it, though, and he's about to get nuked by the E75. I don't know why he's running that way in particular, but at least he does hit a shell on the E75 here. He's about to get rammed, isn't he? E75 messed up his shot. Maybe we can sneak a kill shot into the Waffle. Nice. At least one shell. 3.7. Okay, damage. Not too bad. Having an AP on this tank is so clutch for tracking. Oh, for sure. And AP zero sucks. And heat. <laughs> Alrighty. It's 27 games. Very good, almost 400 likes, 3.7k. I guess we did okay. I think uh, there was definitely a dilemma in that game where I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like, I wasn't sure if I wanted to push med side or heavy side, and I wasn't sure if we were gonna like, lose heavy side. That's a, Those are those weird situations where you just gotta sit back and kind of be patient. Might not be best for damage farming, but if you wanna try and win, that's usually the play you wanna make. Alrighty. So I don't think I'm gonna snipe this game, because they don't have as many Pepega heavy tanks to deal with. Although sniping might not really be a bad idea. I think I'm just going to go to the inside of C. Maybe. Inside of C is really high risk in, in, in something like the 4005. The Bat Chest is going to perma spot us. I don't think I'm going to commit here, you know. Bat Chest going to proxy us. Excuse me, 57. Just trying to back up a little bit, dude. Um, and we don't yet know where the enemy team really is. Okay, there's the M4. Okay, we're fine. I was worried about the M4 pushing outside lane, but our E50 spotting it up. And it looks like they're not outside lane. Now we just have to wait and see where their tank destroyers are. Like, you know, where's that Waffenträger? Where's that 405 at? Once you figure that out, our life becomes a little bit easier. Okay, there's the Waffle at least. Watch pop the double considerables here. M60 is way overextended. One shot into the rear of his turret. Nice. This dude's gonna feel the pains of autoloader meta. Two shots into them, and he's dead. Wow, poor e, e, poor M60. That's why I didn't want to hold the outside lane right at first, in case something like that happened to me. But unfortunately, the recipient <laughs> the recipient of that YOLO was the enemy's M60. And by golly, I just feel bad for him. Poor dude. Really could do nothing there. 405 on the enemy team is kind of just chilling, chilling over here. Um, I don't know if he's going to give me any shots or not in a second. Let's aim one in for him. Unfortunately, that one goes to Narnia. Aim a second one in. We'll pull back. I don't want to take a full magazine here if I don't have to. So let's just pull back and reload our magazine. Kind of surprised he was able to proxy me there. But he could easily do that. And just, just once again. Bro, Rockfield has become kind of a, a trashy map to play. It's just YOLO. Like YOLO meta and instant death for tanks. I, I, I'll be happy to even deal 2,000 damage this game. Really. Which is weird. Hey, 405. Let's go. Let's go. Let's play. Come at me, brother. Come at me, brother. All right. One shell into the 405 here. I have ready cows. I'll just shoot on the move. Oh, he high rolls his HE. Oh, he caught me on fire. Dude. It's okay. I had to go for as much damage as possible there. Oh, once again, also, the gun elevation on this tank sucks so much. I couldn't even shoot him when I went over the smallest of hills. Like, that, that wasn't a huge hill there. It's okay. We got one more shell, and I'm not sure how he was able to out-reload me there, because we shot around the same time. But the fire, man. Oh, unlucky. If you're gonna call me on fire, it would have been fine. In the end, it's like an extra 400 damage. It's not gonna make a huge difference. This game was already gonna be pretty bad. And you're dead, too. But it's game over. I don't, like, have we had a single non-sweep game on Rockfield? I think every Rockfield match has so far been just, like, sweeps. Sweep, sweep YOLOs. It's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about it. Hey, fast, love your awesome vids. Keep it the good work. Thank you. All right. Well, we did two and a half, which honestly isn't bad, dude. Our Chad tier nine Fosh farming almost 4,000 there. Mads must have been just yoloing into the corner, farming like a boss. Almost that 400 like mark. Let's go, guys. Maybe we can reach 70% win rate in the 4005. If we can do that, my, my life will be complete. I can die a happy man. I think what I'm going to do, because I'm tired of getting spotted on this main TD hill by the Pepega meds that always overextend, which is good. Like, like that's what they should do is spot up the TDs. But, um, no, no, guys, go see. No, go see. What are you doing? You can't. Oh, my gosh, our heavies are being 
Well, never mind. This game is over. So our, apparently our heavies are just don't know what map control is. We have five heavy tanks and not a single one of them. Not a single one of them is going to spot C cap up. Oh my goodness. This game is going to be kind of sucky, but we'll try our best to win. Hmm. Ah. Once we get 70%, that's probably we'll call quits on the stream. Uh, if we can do it this game, at least. Just because I have to stream the TVP in a few hours from now. So I need to give my voice some time to rejuvenate before the, uh, before the next game. Before the next stream. So, let's quickly... See, I don't know. I think we can pull up the hill from here. Uh, if I had speed boost, I could. Might still be able to do it. Come on. Accelerate, 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 accelerate. Good stuff. There we go. Very nice. We have E5 in our spawn already. But... This Progetto is way over Extendo here. So let's get ready to just slam dunk on him. Poor dude. Bonk, one shot into him. Bonk, two shots into him. Bonk, three shots into him. He's dead. Nice! So annihilating that Progetto very, very quickly there. Let's see. We might even be able to bonk the Leopard there. Nice. 438 into him. Let's make sure we are safe from the E5. We're going to use this Mount of Rubble as cover from Mr. T125 here, who definitely is considering shooting me. If he wants to stay there, we can probably perma-track him. Let's just wait till our magazine's reloaded. There's a 60 TB. I don't think the E5 can outspot me here, which is the good news. And one shot misses. No! I was going to try to track him, but then he did some weird, like, twitchy thing. He twitched. He twitched and my shot missed. Okay. One shot to the Kron. Nice stuff. Let's see if the 60 TB gets aggro for me as well. I guess we're just playing hold. I mean, this is working for my team because they're actually big brain here. Like, they're actually doing a really good job clearing this flank. Although our E5 definitely felt the 405 there. I don't know how else he would have lost so many hit points, so in enjoying his 4005 experience for sure. I think what I'm going to do here is um, hmm, I don't think I'm spotted. Might be spotted by that Kron. We might be spotted by the Kron here, but dude, this Kron's about to go. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh! Where did that shot go? No, 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 no. One shot into the Kron there. Very good. Two shots into the Kron. Let's reload the magazine. Not bad. E5 is doing okay. I think he's going to die to our... To our... Yo, I'm going to climb up here. Okay, acceleration isn't the best when you're in a very chubby tank like this. There we go. Good stuff. And I think what I'm going to do next is... I'm just going to get ready to dunk onto this 60 TP. He should still have a relatively long reload here. There is a 4005 we should keep an eye out for. But when it comes to dunking on tanks, this 60 TP looking a bit juicy over here. Let's pick another shell onto him. Let's get ready to pick up the kill onto him. Good stuff. We do get shot by the T125. Apparently, our yo dies there. E5 being a little aggro, but I'm going to pull back from him. If I can pull back fast enough to hide this fantastically large turret. Okay, we are safe now. M4 probably is going to hold that corner. We still have a crossfire with some of the allies, so I'm just going to sit back for a second. E5 is still getting blamed on. Boing. Um, but we might just be able to bring on their 4005 here in just a second. So, reload repost consumable. One shot to their 4005 here. Two shots into their 4005 here. Three shots into their 4005 there. Very nice, quick little snappy magazine into that st into this dude. See if this E5 gets a little bit more aggro. Another shot into the E5, but unfortunately that one ricochets. However, that was good. That was good. Poor 4005, I guess, didn't realize his turret is massive, and there's really nothing he can do about it if he pulls up too aggressively there. I guess we'll sit back for a moment. M4 does kill E5, but I think we should be good to get the dub here. And um, this and this won't this won't be too bad of a game in the end. All right, let's get ready to push the C5. Now he has a nine second reload, so I have nine seconds after he shoots me to potentially kill him here. However, Mans is just yelling into the open. No, 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 no. Turn around, turn around. No, my damage. Give it to me. Yoink. <laughs> my damage. Ah, okay. Wait, the M4 is still alive? No way. <laughs> Very epic. Almost 400 likes. Let's go, guys. Definitely not an ace, but at least I think we got the 4k or so damage out. Not too shabby. And we will end the 4005 30 games in with 3,850 70% win rate, considering we were down at 38% for a hot minute. I will happily take that number. I think could have been much, much worse. And overall, a pretty solid session in the 4005. I'm going to get close to 3,600 average career in this tank. I have a lot of games for 45, as you can see. T-77's gun is actually very good for what it is. I think I will show you guys a fun little replay before we end the stream. But don't worry, I will be back in four hours. So, yeah, let's do a quick Sheridan replay. I was playing Sheridan last night, and um, I just, 
had just absolute poggers game in this tank. Like, I don't know why, but there were games when this Sheridan's gun just works. And when it works at the 12 and a half second reload and it's new acceleration, this tank is so exciting. This was just a really fun replay. It wasn't like insane damage, but it was just like bruh moment. And um, yeah, it was such a bruh moment. The enemy 121B was calling me a hacker like for the last half of the game because he was molding. So we are going for a nice early spotting run in the Sheridan here. And uh, just wait for the snapshot. Like, oh yeah, nice 57, bop. Guns is gonna work like an absolute unit this game. Let me take, turn this off. Now, obviously the enemy team do got numbers here. So I'm like, you know what, boys? I should probably run away from here. My whole team's coming up top. But at first, this was like one of two shots that missed this game. So unfortunately, that one does go a little high, but it's okay. Sharon's still gonna be, Sharon's still gonna be mega mean. So we are going to keep pulling back. Now, I had a feeling the one to one was here. So that's why I was being careful. And then, oh yeah, it's a 4005. Let's see, let's see what happens. Okay, yep. Yeah, and then yoink 590 to him. We've already done 1100 damage. I can't wait to, to revisit the good old uh, the good old Sheridan. I this thing needs another stream. I've been loving it so much recently. And then you know, once you want to get spotted pulling forward, I don't quite have shots at them. This is why I decide, okay, I gotta just run away from here. But oh wait, oh and then we take 480, so that would be the T30 in the enemy team. And then a wild T57 gets spotted up here. I'm like, oh, I better pull back in the cover. I somehow hit that shot. Don't ask how we hit that shot. But that was a really spicy shot. So here's why I decide. Okay, let's let the camouflage reset on the Sheridan. We'll just pull out of the dunes. The one to one's probably going to take at least 20 seconds or so to pull up on me. So if I do this properly, it should be good. Sheridan has such good view range and camo compared to the other tanks. Like this 57, he still thinks I'm by that building. Bless him. And so I, I'm able to just pull out for free here. I love big maps for tanks like the Sheridan. I'm like, ooh, you know what? This looks kind of, uh, this looks like a nice juicy shot in the 57. Now, thankfully, Wargaming nerfed its haul armor, so we get 500 into him, and then we're just gonna continue pulling forward. We do, unfortunately, take two ricochet. Actually, no, we don't take two shots. We ricochet two shots because Sheridan, and it's absolute poggers armor profile. And then this 121B is gonna learn the hard way just how much he hates Sheridan players. So, 700 into the 121, pulling down. The gun has just worked so well this game, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna wait till my camouflage resets. Now, we easily outspot the 121B here. So, camouflage resets, 121's in the open, boom. Another 515 to them. Like, I can low-key understand why this 121B was molding so hard. Like, this dude just got brain done by me over and over and over. And so I'm like, all right, cool, cool beans. Let's just pull back in and get ready to kill the Sheridan. Now, unfortunately, spoiler, we are going to cap out this game before I could finish farming out massive damage. Easily could have been six, 7,000 damage, but one to one gets taken out. Like, the Sheridan is just such a... I don't know. I know a lot of players hate Sheridans, but it really is a very fun tank to play. Like, you just... Especially with this buff mobility, it reminds me of the old school Sheridan again, where you're just like super fast in acceleration, so you could just make plays like that. And at this point, I'm like, okay, we're down, we're down, seven, we're up 700 to 300 cap points. We're gonna cap out before this game is over. We spot a wild T30. I'm like, yay, juicy, let's nuke out. Oh, oh no. So unfortunately, T30 is the second shot that got dunked that game that did not go where I wanted to, to go, unfortunately. But don't worry, Sheridan's gun has continued to bless us. So I'm like, okay, small minuscule shot on the yo. Yes, please. <laughs> so this was essentially the whole game. I'm pretty sure if we did not cap out in Supremacy, I could have had about 7.5 to maybe, maybe even 8k. I don't know how many hit points they had left. No, about 7,000 damage this game. We got 5k, but it was still a very, very fun game. And all this just reminded me how much I love the Sheridan. I mean, there's a reason I have 4,500 games in this thing. Also, because why not? Wait, wait till you see the shot. I'm like, okay, we're going to pre-in perfectly through this gap. Boom. <laughs> and then we cap out. And that's... 5,600 5, damage. All I did was run around like a piggy in the spawn. And yeah, I love Sheridan. I can't wait to play it again. But we're going to have to hold off on the Sheridan for now. I'm going to take a little break. I need to give my voice some time to rest and uh, time to prepare for the next stream. Around 6 o'clock or so tonight. The one to one b was very molded, as you can see. Uh, around 6 p.m., that's about four hours from now. I will be back again. We will be doing the infamous TVP T5051 um, gameplay. This tank, in my opinion, is easily the most deadly and dangerous autoloader in tier 10. So I hope you're excited. Hope you guys enjoyed today's stream in the FV4005. It is, of course, always appreciated. We also reached that error 404 like number, so that's pretty foggers. And yeah, thanks for dropping by. I'll catch you guys later. You know, it's, it's not over for today. It's not over for today. So y'all have a good one. I and Bobby's under the bed, so maybe she'll be active tonight. And, um, yeah. Cool stuff.
I really do need to make sure I let my voice rest. So, uh, deuces. <laughs> I always gotta wait a few seconds for 